Hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. I scraped together a crew. Carla, my first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. It turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works, okay? It was the beginning of something magical. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. I got buried alive! It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. Things backfired on LeChuck, because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. That's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. 
I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. Oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated the Chuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Anything. Just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry, <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs? I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. What should we do next? We gotta get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. They 
put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Unlocks the outhouse outside. It says, return outhouse key when finished, or else. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. How much are those chicken foot fries? Chicken foot fries are two pieces of eight. What should we do next? Let's look for change in the outhouse. Maybe we can find enough to get scurvy dogs. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my- It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. You unlocked it. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. I thought it was a piece of eight at first. It looks just like a piece of eight. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Some gross. Gross. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way, you do it. Okay. <laughs> I once had the hiccups for four. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. Hey, Chucky. It says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. I dare you to take a drink of this. No way, I'm not doing that. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? I double dare you to take a drink of this. Don't want to get sick before I get my scurvy dog. I double dog dare you to take a drink of this. I'll do it for a million pieces of eight. You will? No. I triple dipple dare you to drink this. I'll do it if you do it first. What's that over there? Where? <sighs> okay, I took a drink. You did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Do it again then. Okay, you don't have to drink, but I dare you to wash your hands. Fine. <laughs> Your turn. Ew! You actually did it! Your turn. No way. Your turn. No way. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. In France. It looks like a piece of eight if you don't see very well. Hey, uh, Chucky, stand over here for a minute. Nah, I want to get scurvy dogs. Exhibit removed. Aw. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. 
Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. I'm hungry. This would be great for apple bobbing. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate! Um... Hello? Boo! Ha! <laughs> He's dead to the world! Ah. Sounds real! Hey, Chucky! Get ready to run! I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. We'll get some scurvy dogs and then go play over there. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding, here's yours. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads! That's a cool anchor! That just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchors companies, but the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor, and so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning city. They're called that because when you stop in the middle of the ocean, it's like you've made port at an invisible city. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <sighs> I can stand on my head without using my hands. Do you 
you like to race? I'd rather be in charge of a race than be in it. I wonder where this path goes. I want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! Woohoo! Yeah! Darn! You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Hey, hands off. Did you know that's our bread? Stop it. Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? Run along and find your real parents. Hey, hands off! I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days they have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Gotta run! How rude. That's a nice tree. I'm only pretending to look at the tree. I'm actually spying on that couple by the pond. Give it some of your bread. At home, I've got a collection of old... Don't feed the duck. I stole it from that couple. <laughs> What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not going to touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. Gross. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if. Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. There was still one left? Darn! Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? Let's be frank, you can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. Your sword is as sharp as a banana. I'll still tear you down to size. I for sure won that one. In your dreams? You fight like kids. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Yuck! I don't think that was ketchup. Whoops.
I never thought I'd ever find one. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish Chucky had a mustache. Ah! Whoa! <gasps> <laughs> I should throw my coin in and make a wish. I wish D would disappear. What? Hey, neat. Ouch! Hey! <laughs> In France, they call a scurvy dog a chien score butt. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch.
feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck? What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Anyway, no, I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. LeChuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Well, I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. Re-elect Governor Carla. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Some things never change. The scum bar will be here as long as there are pirates. Damn pirate wannabes. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Grr. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Looks like a circus act, maybe. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? 
an expedition. Who is it that you think you are exactly? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous! I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing! Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent? It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. It's not exactly a raid. What else would we be interested in? I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. It's a prize of incalculable monetary value. I don't know about incalculable. Quick, who can count to zero the fastest? <laughs> okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. With backing, I can work it out. It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. Ha! No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> 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 Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. I like the old pirate leaders better. Elaine? Guybrush! Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? A little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine! Guybrush! You wouldn't happen to have a ship with you. No, silly. I came on a charter. Just like you. Yeah, I figured that, but it never hurts to ask. I'm finding it harder than I thought to get hold of a ship and a crew for my expedition. The new local leadership was less than supportive. Why don't you ask around at the docks? I'm sure you can find something. Thanks. I'll try that. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The pressure she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. I have to get going. Oh, so do I. Lots to do. Bye. Bye. It doesn't look finished. 
honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carlo the Swordmaster. Frankly, we were afraid not to. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite novelty store. They're having a half-off sale. Oh, yeah, that clock has been broken for decades now. Looks like Wally's got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? This place has kind of gone downhill. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. I have been waiting for you. You mean... Fate ordained that you would be here several minutes ago. Only you can manage to be late even when you are fated to arrive. It's a gift. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. Free will. Not much. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Many obstacles lie ahead. Serpent, obstacles, got it. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. And now I'm going back again. When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Now you must go. I have a luncheon. And your destiny lies at the docks. It does? Most assuredly. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. The sign says, at Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon, back shortly. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. A visitor! <laughs> Wait, Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. Big news! I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic! You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. 
like you did all those years ago. Possibly, though it was kind of tricky last time, and I didn't get much out of it in the end. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors? Imagine that. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. I notice you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you gotta get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. It says, jail rules. One, no escaping. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Watch your boots in here, son. It's like a swamp, without the clean parts. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. I've got a few coins for incidentals. Stan? Hello there, son. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Oh, that's terrible. Believe me, I feel worse about it than you do. Could I get a ship from you after you're out of jail? Don't count on it, son. I expect to be released any time, but I haven't even got anything on back order. It pains me to lose a sail, but if you need to get off this island, you're gonna have to find another way. Could you refer me to a competitor? Stab me in the heart! You'd go to a competitor? Where's your loyalty, son? Well, seeing as you're in jail and have no ships and can't help me, I thought... It doesn't matter anyway. There's no competition. I drove them all out of business long ago. Nobody can play the angles like old Stan. I didn't really anticipate a situation like this one coming up. Any tips on how to steal a ship from someone else? One word, son! Mutiny! Get yourself on board a worthy vessel, gain the confidence of the crew, wait for the right moment, and strike! If you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Okay, well, thanks I guess. Anything I can do to help you, let me know. As long as it doesn't involve selling you a ship. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? 
people. People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's... advice. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son. But thanks. Are you sure there's no way I can get a ship from you? I'm afraid that's the case. Nuts. It's starting to look like LeChuck's ship really is the only available ship on the island. See you later. Yep. How's your day going? I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Hi there, newcomer. Hi there. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. What's that lock? That's for hats. And please, don't touch the glass. What's this key? That's for a lockable quiver. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge? is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the Undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. 
How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. Would she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. All at once? How does that work? No idea. It's just a story. But I guess you'll find out soon enough. How would you like to join a pirate crew? Would I have to leave my shop? Well, yes, that's the general idea. The crew actually get on the ship and, you know, crew it. Thanks. I'll pass. Try down at the docks. There's always somebody hiring somebody down there. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. Well, what's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. Looks sort of like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. Anything but your cooking. <laughs> Low hanging fruit, but it works. It's nice to see you again. You too. You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor seems like a full-time job. It is, but there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? I've got my own project cooking. Of course you do. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. 
things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. I'll be needing a crew. You interested? Ha! <laughs> I'd rather swallow a live badger than crew with you again. No offense intended. So unlikely, but still possible? No. You want a crew, go down to the docks and hire one. Is there a government program that funds expeditions to find secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, gosh. You're too late for that one. We canceled it last year and diverted the funds to build a habitat for the rare Caribbean whining leech. Darn. There's a ship at the docks that's headed for Monkey Island. I think you're talking about LeChuck's ship. Do you want to go to Monkey Island or don't you? Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. Edgy. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Note to the reader, no disguised secrets are revealed in this book. The blurb says it's a solid, if somewhat predictable, story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Warning, do not try these tricks at home. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. It's thicker than I would have imagined. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff, I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Stay out of my bedroom, Threepwood. Warning, the dark forest ahead is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. 
until I got trapped in one for two days. I think they're illegal now. At Chamber of Commerce Midnight Luncheon, back shortly. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. worse than I imagined. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. So sad. Stan's used to be the best place to buy used chips. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? is all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. It's a dried up old sea sponge. It's bone dry. I guess Stan hasn't washed a ship in a while. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Looks like the only available ship on the island right now is LeChuck's. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. It's sad to see the shipyard like this. Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me, and they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, probably not. Has LeChuck's ship set sail yet? Nope, still at the dock. See anything interesting out there? Change, the future. Are those the names of ships? All I can see is open water. It's what I named my cataracts. Huh. I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Clever. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. 
I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? <laughs> no problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. Maybe Slobby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, the job is... Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Andrew LeChuck, nephew. Oh, ballsy play, Andrew. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. I'm sorry, I can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. No parking of demonic, ghostly, or undead vessels or scooters. Tuesdays, 3 to 4. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Huh, <laughs> it'll turn out to be a t-shirt or something. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the Ask Me About Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it! Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. 
Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. It's those three clowns at the back table. Guy Brush Threepwood, as I live and breathe, how have you been? <laughs> same old, same old. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. She's good. No piece is missing. Kids yet? Whoa, easy there, Tiger. I'm still in my juvenile phase myself. That's what Elaine says anyway. Well, tell her I say hello. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I think I do. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, build it? <sighs> the wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree. A tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. Any questions? How do I find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. It should be called Mop Quest. When do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But first, I had to make a mop. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. away from my mop. Well, it's definitely a mop. Looks like a mugshot. Stay away from that picture. It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. Then you have a packet of stick-on stars. Food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Hopeless. It's good for relieving stress. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years.
The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Active little guys, aren't they? Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I completed the three trials. Trials? It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carlo the Swordmaster. Frankly, we were afraid not to. Going out of business? This place is an institution! The curtains are for sale, too? Everything goes. They'd make a great dress. Green, half off. Blue, half of half off. Yellow, half of half of half off. Orange, aren't you glad you're here? A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. Looks like it's been there forever. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Not very practical. Keep up the good work, buddy. You do gift wrapping. We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. No thanks. Too bad it's empty. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There's always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. All my merchandise is top shelf. Can't you at least wait until I say what I'm thinking? It's creepy. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? There is a new dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this location. That it belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Oh, back up. Dark magic, he said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Is dark magic powerful? Powerful, yes, it can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? 
It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain John Laney was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo magic. The eye patch still exists. It is on display at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Melee Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay, Corina, nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Wally? Well, 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 look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again too, Wally, whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the Secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. Haha, <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how funny it was. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high-stakes, ego-driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right for Wally.
Bye. Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. Ooh, looks chilly up there. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. What's this a map of? The secret movements and activities of my competitors. That sounds reasonable. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, rating, cursed black diamond. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. Hey Wally, what's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Ooh, this one looks nice. How much is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Hey, Wally, what's in these boxes? Maps. Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. It looks expensive and shiny. I like shiny. Chuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done. Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait! Let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Freepwood on board. Very well. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. It 
seems to be stuck closed. Employees only. Hey, guy brush. Hey, kid. If one monocle is good, two is better. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. You look like you're having a good time. This is the number for the jail cell lock. Most of this serial number has been rubbed off. They say they don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Welcome back. Hiya. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. Hey, Guy Brush. Hey, kid. Otis? The authorities have reconsidered your case and decided that you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. I already copied the serial number. Hi there. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise him. I tried it on though, and nothing happened. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Thanks a lot. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here, on Melee. 
That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. Tell me again about the ore. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape. What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very impressive. I got it from a collector on Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. You don't believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. The display case is locked. There's some very tiny writing on it. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. It was found in the Melee Jail many years ago, after an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. I had to keep pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs, and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not yours, apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. That's not the way he tells it. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found, tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note, left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuff from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the exhibits, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. It's locked. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threepwood? Uh, I guess you could say that. Nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! If you need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. Your museum is quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old-timey pirate stuff. Old-timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. Are any of these things valuable? 
The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? I see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. I'll have a look around. Please do. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hello. This is the one for the museum display case. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Wally, tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. Bye. What's cooking? Any other mystical advice or information for me? No. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. The product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue.
Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not. It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. I'm not a waiter. Hop to it. Uh, right away, sir. Yo ho. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew, or you did. Worse, Marlin. Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy. But he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Stay away from my mom. Happen. It's the emblem of a secret society I belong to. But really? Don't be ridiculous. Yo ho! It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. I've come for a recipe, a dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? Barbie LaFlay catered that event. I own her cookbook, but I don't know any of the recipes. Do you know where I can find Barbie LaFlay? Middle of the Atlantic Ocean? She's halfway back to France by now. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. this thing? It's a forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. 
I never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. Trust me. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. The voodoo lady said it was a forgiveness frog. I should let you get back to governing. Yes, you should. Here. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. That is complete nonsense. And yet, I am going to forgive you for losing my book. I can't even explain why. I just have this sudden, inexplicable urge to forgive. You'd better not be up to something. Just uh, don't lose the frog, okay? No, I'll keep it with me always. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there! I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. This will be excellent! I carved it off the cook's mop handle. Good times. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally.
Whoa! That's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. You're looking good. I like things neat. That is that's folded perfectly. That'll do, Parrot. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. I guess I lost my way. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Mind your mama, little prick the kids. Hey, little fella. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. It's like there's a welcoming committee. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. I'll take a shortcut back. You landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She pays extra for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. Uh-huh.
ingredients indeed. Busy? Yup. I carved it myself. Look at the mop handle I carved. I only needed one tree to make it. You found the tree! Oh, good thing you only took one branch. It's the last mop tree on the island. Very, very rare. Brilliant innovation. Coming along It's a nicely. classic, elegant mop with a sliver carved out of it. I made a mop. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep Seems and use like for a, a life. lot, but okay. Oops. Oh, well, probably fine. Welcome back. I checked the display case and it seems fine. So we're open for business again. It's locked. Hi there. Hello. Are these for customers? Not technically, but please, help yourself. That charming old guy who mans the lookout keeps bringing them for the parrot. Thanks. I'll just take a few. I've got enough to last me. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. But it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Classic and subtle, like me. Threepwood, are you trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch? That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. No, no, of course not. Just having a little eye trouble. Left for a spasm. Oh, try some cashies. You might be short on magnesium. Or wits. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten something. I better take off this eye patch first. Hey, watch it!
can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. One moment. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? John Laney was especially known for impersonating monsters of various types. You failed to mention that earlier. It's not a strong part of the sales pitch. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. Be the quartermaster. Yep, you look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B Y O M. So, show me a decent mop, and the job's yours. Okay. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick, tangle a boat line. <sniffs> Smells like seagull droppings. Eh, good enough. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem. We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Chuck's ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island, where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it! You work here, you sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice! A cruel and vengeful deity! I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. Any questions? Uh, 
what if I need to, um, you know. Use the portal. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. Where's my bunk? You might be alright inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like to peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. The chickens have their ways. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Well, perhaps we can arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> but seriously, learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. I want this hole sparkling, as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> yo, ho, yo, ho, pirate's life for me. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. <laughs> Murray? Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? Oops. Oops is right. You shouldn't go opening crates without knocking first. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No problem. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. At least they don't smell like live chickens. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? I wonder what it's made out of. Driving rain and crashing waves. Perfect sailing weather. It's a really tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Looks like you missed a spot. Aww. Better. Oi! You missed a spot. Come on. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Looks like you missed a spot. Seriously, get some new dialogue. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks 
Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. That's disgusting. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. That is a fairly greasy portal. Almost. Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to Mobbin. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I think so. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? Good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. It's working. I can't see anything. This one doesn't open.
That's a big rudder. I can't see anything. This one doesn't open. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. This is a bunch blah, of empty containers blah, blah. of monkey blood and squid. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. 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 The map will be kept in my cabin. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone, and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent! You there, in the back, new guy! Me? Hmm. You look familiar somehow. I get that a lot. I have a common sort of face. I suppose everyone looks the same with the skin peeled off. <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Can I have a raise? Sure. Straight into the rigging, where you'll hang by your ankles for the next few years. Got it? Never mind. Yeah, you get used to it. Why does it have to be a flat skull? Because the recipe says so! Where should I look for a skull? That's your problem! Why do we need a skull? To finish the voodoo potion! We just went over this! Okay, I'm on it. One skull. Flat. Be quick about it then! Meeting adjourned. Finish the potion, and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax, I was just making conversation. I'll find a skull someplace else. How's the potion coming? You heard the captain. It's nearly finished. Go and find a flattened skull like he told you to. You can't do that. Find a regular skull and flatten it. These open plan offices are all the rage now. I'll probably do my shirt in a few weeks when it starts to get mossy. It doesn't do much to cut the chill in here, but I'll take what I can get. Wait a minute. That looks exactly like Elaine's wedding veil. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. Ooh, I can't decide which is more disturbing. 
Lechuk somehow stealing Elaine's wedding veil, or him having a copy made. Nice! A slideshow of creepy zombie guys. Toasty! Toasty! I know art is supposed to grab you, but this is taking it too far. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Aha! You're out and about! That is one revoltingly greasy portal. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? Well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Hey, Murray, why don't you come with me? I can show you around the ship. No. Hey. How's it going in there, Murray? You will pay for this indignity, you worthless skull napper. Hold it right there. You come up when I say you can. But just never get back to mopping. smells like it's ready to go. It's just missing the flattened skull. Let me apologize in advance. You're gonna have to take one for the team. I see no team. Only you, withered zombie man. Let me assure you that whatever you're planning, it will be nothing compared to the torments that I will... Ah! I would admire your methods if they had been used on someone else. Uh, thanks, I guess. in there, Murray. I don't want to talk to you right now, except to say that exquisite punishments await you at your final resting place. Hey, what are you... Next stop, Unky Island. Swabby! Yeah. Why are you out of the old? You're not ready for the deck. Where's your mop? And also... I... I can explain, sir. I guess you'll be first swab now, whatever your name is. A promotion? I won't let you down. 
This'll be ruined now it's spilled. Start making the potion again. I'll be in me cabin, gritting me collection of other people's teeth. Redo the potion? Is that even possible? No! We barely scraped together the ingredients the first time. We're out of almost everything. Let's tip the cauldron back and pretend we're working on it. Maybe he'll forget about it eventually. You don't know a chap like I do. But it'll buy us some time. Is this one of those times where you substitute different stuff for all the ingredients and it works anyway? No, they were right. We couldn't make the potion again. But you told me that you can't get to Monkey Island unless you make the potion. Well, I did. But as it turns out, there is a way. We storytellers call what's happening now a twist. There was an important piece of the puzzle that I hadn't seen yet. I started by looking around the ship for opportunities. Hey! What's that? Plundering prospects. Ah, uh, you won't need those. I'll find a way for us to get to Monkey Island. Hmm. <laughs> it's empty now. Hey, Pop. Have you got any ideas on how to get to Monkey Island that don't involve a voodoo potion? My mind's a blank. I try to keep it that way if possible. The crow's nest is up there. Nice view up here. Sure. I'm just looking around for another way to get to Monkey Island. Be my guest. These things get more sophisticated every year. <laughs> Would that we all did the same. These things get more sophisticated every year. Hey, Flambe! Ship ahoy! It's Captain Madison! Ready the cannons! Don't worry about it. The Chuck already knows they're out there. Wait, never mind. Something's going on. They've got a cauldron on deck. That... Looks like a cinnamon stick. Mint, squid ink. Hey, wait a minute. I know that recipe. They didn't come to sink us. Those weasels are going to Monkey Island. Okay. They undercut my three, I mean, three woods expedition so they could claim the prize for themselves. You don't want to say that name out loud on this ship. Trust me. Why aren't they happier? A well-placed stab in the back is cause for celebration. They're missing a skull. We don't need a potion because they have one. Mm, what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Make ready to sail. Do I look like a quartermaster to you? You sure don't look like one to me. I'll go talk to Iron Rose. This is gonna be great. If you say so, Swabby. an amazing idea. Does it involve mopping? No, it involves following another ship to Monkey Island. See, Captain Madison is just east of us right now. They're brewing the potion to go to Monkey Island. So? So I'm gonna help them finish it, and then we follow them. All I need to do is get them a skull somehow. Make ready to sail. No. We don't even want to go to Monkey Island. Golan gave us a perfect excuse to skip it, and now you're about to screw it up. Let's lock him in the hold. Whoa, hang on. I'm a little surprised to hear this. You shouldn't be. But so far, you haven't struck me as the brightest candle in the box. There's nothing on that island except for the secret. The secret doesn't split six ways. <clears throat> Seven. LeChuck only wants it because of his obsession with that stale glass of milk guy brush threepwood. I think you're making a mistake. Let's put it to a vote. Voting is supposed to be at one bell. Fair enough. 
The matter before the crew is the question of whether we should go to Monkey Island. I vote nay. 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 Uh, aye. The vote to go has to be unanimous. It isn't. Meeting adjourned. What? Unanimous? It means I had to convince each and every member of the crew to change their vote. Wow! Listen, about that trip to Monkey Island. That we voted against. Exactly. I want to try to persuade you to change your mind about it. Or if not your mind, then at least your vote. Good luck with that. I'm regretting hiring you right now. As Quartermaster, it seems like you should be more loyal to LeChuck, who, I will point out, very much wants to go. I've been with LeChuck a long time. Exactly! In the beginning, I really admired the way he saw the world. As a big round box with a ribbon on it and the secret of Monkey Island inside? I don't know, that's just it. I can't even remember what I found so inspiring. It makes it hard to follow his lead on a personal quest like the secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Can we vote on going to Monkey Island again? You want another vote? Go ring the bell yourself. I'd like to discuss your vote on the Monkey Island issue. It's nay. I'm afraid going to Monkey Island doesn't really have anything in it for me. Wouldn't the change of scenery be nice? I've seen lots of scenery. How about I make it worth your while? Go on. I'll take your next shift. If I didn't know better, I'd say you were after my job. No thanks. I'll get you transferred to the other yard arm. I've been there. I prefer this one. I'll be your best friend. My best friend will always be the sea. Or maybe Putra. Well, what would you be interested in? Well, I've got all I need, but I'm bored. We used to have an entertainment budget, but this fancy new ship is leveraged like crazy, so there are no frills anymore. Entertainment, you say? I'm sure I can come up with something. Entertainment is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, I do like a good joke. They don't last very long, though. Bob, I confess I'm a little confused about what your job is. I mean, I know you hang up there all day, I'm just not sure why. As yard arm hanger, I serve as an example to the crew of what might happen if they break the rules. It's an important role, though admittedly not an exciting one. Working hard? Never. Let's talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island. Are there any particular favors I can do for you? I don't know a lot about your interests. My main interests are sleeping and eating. I try to do both as much as possible. Do you have a favorite food? Oh, yes. Scorched Alaska. Salty like widow's tears. Sweet like revenge. And fiery like a hot poke to the tongue. Sounds good? Exquisitely painful, yes. How do you make Scorched Alaska? I don't. I have someone else make it. Uh, professionally possible. There are safety concerns. What's the book? It's a book of underworld jokes. Jokes from beyond the pale. <laughs> Unheard of in this world. Underworld jokes, you say? Any good? Hilarious. Would you describe that book as entertaining? I would use a shorter word, but yes. Think you'll be done reading soon? No, I don't really have anything else to do. Remind me how you make Scorched Alaska. I engage a professional. Keep up the bad work. Always. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. The very 
very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet Scruffles. Ah, uh, oops. Top deck schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Toasty. Toasty. That looks like a permanent stain. Yeah, smells worse than it looks. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Uh, Flair? <sighs> what is it? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? No. Oh, come on. There must be something I can do for you. Something you want? Nothing you can give me. Try me. Okay, fine. Earlier today, I lost my grandmother's whale knife. It was a gorgeous heirloom. I treasured it. And now it's gone. Bring me the knife, and I'll vote for your stupid plan. Great. Can you tell me where and when you last saw it? It was sticking out of Gullet's back. Right after I stabbed him with it. Probably still there. LeChuck threw Gullet over the side. Yep. Joke's on you, Swabby. <laughs> and I guess on me, too. Now beat it. I'm busy. Uh, Flair? <sighs> what is it? Forgive me, but I'm unclear. What exactly is your job on this ship? I'm the second mate, bosun, gunner, ship surgeon, and composer. And I do the laundry. Wow. Save a little for the rest of us, huh? You after my jobs? Better not be. I need the cash. I'm saving up. What are you saving up for? None of your business, Swabby. Well, how come you stabbed Gullet? He asked too many questions. How many questions did he ask? One. Uh, Flair? What do you want? What's that you're working on? It's theme music for LeChuck. I'm sketching out a melody. I'm happy with the first two notes. They're both do. The repetition emphasizes LeChuck's relentless nature, his dogged pursuit of his goals. It's a quality I admire. Still working on the other notes, my target is seven total. I'm hoping to work in an augmented fourth to make it sound demonic. Right, right. I understand completely. You must have some scrubbing to get to, right, Swabby? How's the score going? It would be going a lot better with fewer interruptions. So, Putra. Chef, Putra, please call me Chef. Everybody does. They do? No, never, but they should. I'd like to try to sway you on the Monkey Island vote. Save your breath, I'm unswayable. There's only one opinion I value, and that's Iron Roses. She's the smartest one on the ship. Second smartest. Now that you mention it, I'm remembering that I said just last week that I'd always vote with Rose. So I'm going to do that on this, too. Whatever way Rose votes, that's how I'll vote. Thanks for reminding me. Oh. How come people don't call you Chef? Because they're a bunch of pedestrian clods who wouldn't know a great meal if it hit them in the mouth. Which, by the way, it often does, if you cook it right. Or wrong. But mainly it's because technically I am a cook, not a chef. It's a job title. So a chef outranks a cook? Yeah. Of course, on a ship this size, I'd still be the only one making food, so that part doesn't mean anything. It's just about the recognition. So a chef is better than a cook? Not necessarily. I mean, a good cook makes better food than a lousy chef. But being a cook is mostly about mastery of materials and technique. Whereas a chef adds artistry 
improvisation, and innovation. Anyone who's tasted my boiled monkfish and haggis dumplings should agree that I deserve that title. Does a chef get paid more than a cook? Ah, I mean, yes, but on this ship, not enough to make a difference. It's the principle of the thing. Well, have you tried to get a promotion? Only about a dozen times. I keep the written request handy, complete with case studies and cost-benefit analysis. There is absolutely nothing wrong with this. But LeChuck refuses to sign it. Management. <laughs> yeah. I don't suppose you know how to make Scorched Alaska? Of course I can make Scorched Alaska, but I'm not going to. Why not? Scorched Alaska is the kind of thing that requires a skilled chef. Apparently, I'm still only a cook. I see. What exactly is a Scorched Alaska? Imagine a dessert shaped like a huge legless jellyfish with a texture like ice cream wrapped in packing foam, and it sets your face on fire when you eat it. <laughs> Appetizing. Not really. Did you know Gullet well? Sure. He and I were the only zombies in the crew until you came along. How did you become a zombie? Oh, the usual way. I was at the Culinary Academy at the time. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction to some strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? Me? Um... Yeah, I'm allergic to strawberries, too. Oh, I wasn't allergic. Can't stand them now, though, obviously. Uh, obviously. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I forget I'm a zombie. No, I don't. Every time I try to get a decent cooking job at a restaurant or some swanky manor house, they say I'm too green, and they play it off like they're talking about experience level, but I know what they mean. Zombies need not apply. We don't want them rotting near the food. You must have experiences like that. They think all we want to do is eat brains. Which, to be honest, I do want. But not constantly. That's a terrible stereotype. What was Gullet like? Well, you'll have noticed he was a bit of a bully. Not at all. He didn't have much power or control in his life, and he was insecure about that. So he compensated by being domineering, vicious, and cruel whenever he had the opportunity. You don't say. But he had his good side. He wrote poetry. Nobody else knows that. He kept it a secret. He was always afraid someone would steal his ideas. Not that anyone would have. His poems were total garbage. <laughs> Anyway... I'll let you get back to cooking. Yeah. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. You'd think on a ship there would be opportunity to change the water once in a while. Why don't I see if I can make some headway with your promotion? I think LeChuck likes me. <laughs> sure, knock yourself out. If nothing else, we'll all get some entertainment out of it. It's hard to tell if those are for cooking or combat. It's cute that you think there's a difference. Can I give you a hand washing these plates? Nah, I already did those. You might want to change this water someday. Just a thought. It's not water. I'm marinating the plate scrapings for tomorrow's dinner. Ooh, I think I'll skip dinner tomorrow. Yeah. It sounds like screening, but really quiet.
These open plan offices are all the rage now. You, Swabby, come over here. You be new to my ship. I like to meet each of my crew. What's your name, Swabby? Crazy Beard, the Beardless. Look, I'm just going to call you Swabby. It's not good for the chain of command if we get too friendly. Any questions? None? Good, I likes an unquestioning crew. Now, get back to work before I use your entrails as bait. Wait! Um... Don't forget the keel hauling tomorrow at four. I like to think of it as a team-building exercise. I won't. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. Shouldn't ye be swabbing? What do you want, Swabby? Why exactly are you trying to find the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island has tormented many a pirate. Some believe it doesn't exist, that it's just a myth or a joke concocted by a fool. None has been more obsessed over it than that idiot Guybrush. Me? I think it holds a mystical power to be harnessed for evil. And as an added bonus, it will drive Threepweed over the edge of madness. Threepwood. Wood with two O's. What was your name again? Uh, Swabby with two B's. Mind if I take a look at that map you were waving around earlier? Don't touch the map. That be the one true map to the secret of Monkey Island. Procured by me at great expense and no small amount of trouble. So I'll not have you touching it, even with your eyeballs. Leastwise, not while they still reside in your skull. I may have figured out a way to get to Monkey Island. I spotted another ship making a potion, and we can just follow them. What does that nameplate say? Uh, the one there, on my desk. It says LeChuck. And LeChuck is a leader, not a follower. One more thing, Swabby. Now that you be first swab, you'll be needing to fill out the Swabby report. Take this report, fill it out, and give it to Iron Rose for her initials. Some say it's grog that keeps a pirate ship running. It's not. It's paperwork. I guess it's a good sign if they're not trying to leave. Ghost rats. Ugh. It would take forever to itemize in here. I'll just make a blanket entry for the whole galley.
Uh, guess I should have cleaned that. But I'll leave it for the next swabby. Disgraceful. It's like no one on this ship has heard of recycling. That's it. I've completed my report. I should show it to Iron Rose. Could you initial this report, please? Huh. Yes. Very thorough. See? I am good at my job. I wouldn't go that far. Here. I've got a bunch of other reports ready for the captain's signature. Why don't you take him the whole stack? It's a stack of papers waiting for LeChuck's signature. Putra makes a compelling case for promotion. It's a stack of papers, including Putra's promotion paperwork, ready to be signed by LeChuck. Shouldn't he be swabbing? Paperwork? Okay, hand it over. All stamped. Now please give me some peace and quiet. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. Keep your eyes off that map, Swabby. What do you want, Swabby? Didn't Guybrush Threepwood get to Monkey Island years ago? Guybrush Threepwood is a fancy pants wearing third rate sailor and a has been pirate! He stole the woman I loved, and I will eat his heart at the gates of hell. Did you really love Elaine, or was it more of a. My patience is wearing thin, Swabby! Now get out of here so I can think! That is... Go it! You! He's pretty securely pinned there by the rudder. There's also a knife in his back, but that's clearly not why he's stuck. <laughs> I have to say, I thought you were gone for good. I was feeling no small amount of pleasure about it, in fact. It'll take more than a bath to get rid of old Gullet. Now pull me out of here before I hang you by your own intestines, Swabby! Well, it's actually first swab now. What is? Me! LeChuck gave me your job. You! Not likely. I do prefer a management role. Less scrounging, more lounging. I'm gonna give your pancreas to my rat for a pillow! You might want to take a friendlier tone. This is my friendly tone, you blabbering pile of excrement! I can hold my breath for ten minutes, more or less. How about you? Well, technically, I don't have to breathe at all. But it's a reflex, isn't it? You can't really stop doing it. And it feels like drowning the whole time. So get me out of here right now, you colossal git! I'm the only one who knows you're down here. Not true. I know I'm down here, don't I? Like, 
guess you've got me there. <laughs> if I leave you here, do you think you can free yourself? Of course not. You think I haven't tried that already? It's a matter of leverage. As in, I'm going to get a lever and smack you in the head with it if you don't get me out of here right now. Once we set sail, you'll probably be crushed into paste by the rudder. Why would you tell me that? Well, in case you're worried about being stuck for a long time. When I get my hands on you, I'm going to eat both your legs, throw them up, and then eat them all over again. It would be smart of me not to give you the opportunity then. Nice talking to you, Gullet. What do you mean, nice talking to you? Oh, I don't mean it literally, of course. Just politely ending our conversation. Wait, no, no, get, get me out of here for pity's sake. You baboon! I get you for this. That's Flare Gory's grandmother's whale knife. It's a beauty. You clown. That isn't gonna do any good. It wasn't even bothering me. But it would be even better if the cannons loaded with something. Uh, Flare? What do you want? Can we talk about your vote on going to Monkey Island? I told you, Swabby. Bring me my grandmother's whale knife and my vote's all yours. <laughs> now go away. I have your knife. My grandmother's knife? Thanks, Swabby. I have no idea how you pulled that off, but I guess a deal's a deal. I'll vote for your stupid plan. So, Chef. I got LeChuck to authorize your promotion. What? Good news, Chef Putra. You're officially promoted. I'm a chef! Chef Putra! <laughs> Thanks, Swabby. You're amazing. I owe you one. So, Chef. You sure I can't change your mind on the Monkey Island issue? I do owe you one. But I'm still voting whatever way Rose votes. Okay. Now that you're a chef, would you make me a scorched Alaska? Of course. I have to warn you, though, not to try to eat it. You've still got a fair amount of your face left. It'd be a shame to melt it off prematurely. Some chefs these days use dandruff out of a can. But I would never take a shortcut like that. One scorched Alaska made to order. Be careful with it, and like I said, don't try to eat it. Thanks. Call in a few favors, but I managed to get you this. Scorched Alaska, sweet poisonous shades of my shady and poisonous childhood. It seals me inside like a lost love, a masterpiece. I am in your debt. I 
hate being in debt, so uh, let's just say I'll vote you away next time we talk about that uh, plan of yours. The one with the monkeys. You're not reading this. Can I borrow it? Sure. I'll let you have it for the rest of the day. Thanks. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. I still think you should vote to go to Monkey Island. I don't want to talk about that now. I'm having a crisis of faith. About not being inspired by LeChuck to follow his lead. Okay. giving me this at my orientation. It's got some good stuff in it. Oh, yeah. I put it together myself, you know. No kidding. <laughs> Betray trust, commit fraud, threaten bodily harm. So unswerving, so unapologetically ruthless. This really takes me back. Me too. Uh, back to earlier today in my case. LeChuck is really an amazing leader. You can hang on to that if you like. No, thanks. I'm good. Now that I've remembered why it is that I'm willing to follow LeChuck anywhere, even when I think he's doing something stupid. Just so we're clear, that means you're going to vote to go to Monkey Island now? Yes. Even though I know you want me to. Works for me. What do you like to do for fun? Oh, pretty much anything. I'm easy. Sea shanties? Hmm, not so much. Clog dancing? Nah. Bowling? Nope. Flea circus? Nah. Keel hauling? Not really. Basket weaving? Well, no. Historical novels? I do enjoy reading. Ha! Embroidery? Nope. Improvisational theater? Well, no. Biographies? I do enjoy reading. Meditation? Nah. Model shipbuilding? Nope. Yodeling? Hmm, not so much. Animal husbandry? Nah. Carpentry? Nah. Autobiographies? I do enjoy reading. Whittling? Well, no. Whistling? Nah. Adventure stories? I do enjoy reading. Philosophical discussion? Not really. Travel guides? I do enjoy reading. Self-help books? I do enjoy reading. We'll see what I can find. Hey, Bob, I've got a great book for you. Hey, this looks promising. Thanks. I owe you one. Can I count on your vote to go to Monkey Island? Sure, no problem. I think I've got everyone's support now. Time to call for another vote. to be voted on? Following Madison's ship to Monkey Island, on which I vote aye. 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 Six in favor, none opposed. I hope you're happy, Grandma. Everybody, get ready. We'll follow the other ship as soon as she gets underway. Yes! So then you went to Monkey Island? Not right away. I still needed to get my hands on the Chuck's map to the secret.
that time again already? Well, let's get to it. Come to order, you murdering, traitorous dogs. Why is the ship's cauldron still empty? I distinctly ordered a mystical voodoo potion. If a ship is going to function properly, blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 flay you on a knife. Blah, blah. Blah, blah, keel haul. Blah, blah, walk the plank. Blah, blah, blah. And another thing. Blah, blah. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. It's not much of a map. There's just some writing on it, but clearly it's important. A map's a map. I don't think he'll spot the difference. Now I just need to get Madison a skull, and we'll be good to go. Shape up, or the eels will be gnawing on your carcass! All right, same time tomorrow, then. Dismissed. How's it going in there, Murray? I don't know what you're planning now, but I'm going to see you burn for it. Okay, Murray, I just need one more thing from you. I hope you're not allergic to gunpowder. Of course I'm not. Hey, what are you doing? These things are Underway. All hands, stand by to make sail. We're nearly there, me hearties. The fabled shores of fabled Monkey Island. Captain Madison and her associates will have to be dealt with, of course. But our top priority is the secret. <coughs> Extra grog rations for everyone. Grog. Hey! All right. right. <laughs> Greenwood. Oops. What? I did not see that coming. I want to savor this, so I'm going to let you have the first jab. You move like a wounded hippopotamus. You move like a dead one. Okay, decent comeback. Why don't you try again? You're all buttress and no cutlass. You're all mattress and a blast. Hey, cheating, I won that round. Also, I'm pretty sure we're supposed to use the swords when we do this. You don't seem to know how to use a sword. I can't decide if you're waving that thing like a feather duster or more like a mop. Hey, I know that one! Oh, I've been practicing, huh? What comeback would you use for waving it like a feather duster or like a mop? Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. That's what I thought, too. I can't decide if you're waving your sword like a feather duster or more like a mop. Either way, I'll clean the floor with you. Too late to start doing your job now, Swabby! Hey, you're laying a comeback on my comeback? That's gotta be against the rules. You really 
should keep up on the latest trends. Goodbye, Freepwood. Good thing I can still hold my breath for ten minutes. More or less. Is it more, or is it less? What? You say you can hold your breath for ten minutes, but then sometimes you say eight. One time, I heard you say twelve. Which one is it? Well, in my prime, I could do ten minutes, no problem. Are you in your prime in this story? Eight minutes. Now let me get back to it before the eight minutes runs out. Monkey Island, six minute walk. Hello, Monkey Island. It's me, Guybrush. Did you miss me? Your secret will be mine. Ten minutes. Tops. I just need to take a look at the map I stole from LeChuck. Aw, it's a heart with L and E someone romantically carved into the tree. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the cannon. Oh, it's just a creepy skull. I'll keep this for my Shakespeare summer stock. It's a skull I found. Maybe I can book a side trip to Horsey Island. I don't eat trail berries. Not after what happened last time, and the time before that. You don't hear much about land pirates, but they're out there. It's a big stone monkey part. I shudder to think about what part I might find next. carved a pulley in the middle, but that's just me. It's running a little fast. I do like honey, but I don't want to escalate the situation. Hmm, I didn't know the island was zoned for housing. Secret this way. That's pretty straightforward, which I appreciate. The secret of Monkey Island must be buried here. I'm moments away from fulfilling my life's ambitions. Once and for all, I'll be able to prove to Elaine that this wasn't a fool's quest. Everyone said the secret didn't exist, but I always knew it did. Knowing the secret of Monkey Island will change my life. I'm done pondering. Let's dig this baby up. I'm done pondering. Let's dig this baby up. What an amazing stroke of luck. A free shovel to dig up the secret with. Oh! Wow. 
That's not LeChuck. LeChuck is a greenish, shouty guy with a beard and a big hat. This clown won't know LeChuck's secrets. But I guess we could torture him anyway. Wait! I know plenty of LeChuck's secrets. Do you know LeChuck's theme song, his catchphrase, or his favorite food? How about his lookout's favorite food? I know that one. Not helpful. Ugh, this is going nowhere. We wouldn't even be in this bind if you'd let me kill him on melee. Don't start with me, Lila. Remember, it was me that intercepted the real map on its way to LeChuck in the first place. That's a blank piece of paper. It's encrypted. I can reveal it with a dark magic spell, but I have to have LeChuck's personal information to break the security. As part of the spell, we have to play his music, say his catchphrase, and eat his favorite food. He's here on the island. Ugh, LeChuck is too powerful to face directly. This trap was supposed to catch him off guard so we could get the information out of him. And now we're out of root beer. I swallowed a lot. Maybe wait a half hour? Or I poke a hole in you and it squirts out right away. We could search his ship for information while he's gone? We thought of that, but the ship's enchanted to be unboardable. Only LeChuck and his crew can get on it. Well, not sure I was ever technically fired. I mean, I did wind up at the bottom of the ocean, but no one ever said the words, you're fired. You can get on the ship? Probably. I mean, definitely. Yes. Fine. Here's the deal. You find out what we need to know. We decode the map and we split the secret four ways. That's the only offer and I won't make it again, in or out. What are the alternatives? We kill you. I accept. No way! You teamed up with Captain Madison? Well, they were planning to double-cross me, of course. My only option was to do it first. Double-cross them before they could double-cross me. Triple-cross. Dad. I'd get them what they needed to work the spell on the map, and then I'd find a way to steal it. Cool! Remember, it's his theme music, catchphrase, and favorite food. We're camped at the big monkey ahead if you need anything. Actually, there is one thing. Is that you? Sorry about getting you mixed up in this. Oh, it's just a weird looking skull. I'll keep this for no reason. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. This whole tremendous ship is kind of a floating midlife crisis. Murray? Is that you? I hope this doesn't affect our friendship. Oh, it's just a soaked skull. I'll keep this for my Skull Club meetup.
you. Uh, hi. You're not welcome on this ship, Threepwood. <clears throat> It's a skull I found. Well, I'm no phrenologist, but it seems okay. That is gazeworthy. Murray? Is that you? I probably should have left you in your crate. Oh, it's just a sea salt encrusted skull. I'll keep this, in case I ever take up skull juggling. Just some old skull. This is where I accidentally fell years ago when the ledge collapsed. Good times. Is that you? Sorry about flattening you. Oh, it's just a spooky skull. I'll keep this for Halloween. Just some old skull. The rocks around here are treacherous. I have to be careful not to stub my toe. Well, the age-old battle of rock versus hull only ever ends one way. Ugh, this really puts the wreck in shipwreck. My sympathies to the unlucky captain. It says the Sea Monkey. Hey, this is my old ship from Monkey Island 1. Wow, the Sea Monkey brought me adventure and fame. Oh, I feel like this is a good omen. Uh, either that or this forgotten wreck of a ship discarded on the beach is highly symbolic. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. The sea monkey. Wow. Oh, I'd love to get the old girl running again. It'd be a great summer project. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property. Murray? Is that you? Sorry about the things I said to you. Oh, it's just a rancid skull. I'll keep this for the voodoo lady. Well, I'm no phrenologist, but it seems okay. Uh, remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Well, he's been an elephant. the bartender. I think I'll use my second favorite cutlass. I don't want to ding up the best one. Are you still talking about Threepwood? Possibly. I respect that. Betrayal always gives me goosebumps. Good thing I'm gonna strike first. I want to be sure you understand. We're going to share this. This secret? Threepwood, you clown. I haven't killed anyone since we got here, and I'm feeling itchy. Both of you just remember to wait until we've got eyes on the secret. By which time the map and I will be long gone. Hey, partners. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I ran into some trouble boarding the ship. Is it the enchantment keeping you off? Good news! We get to kill him after all. No, that's not it. I lost my eye patch disguise, so the crew knows it's me, and they won't let me back on. You need to look like one of them. I know a good spell that can do that. 
I'll need a secret to build it on. Get me a physical object from one of the crew. Something they would keep hidden from the others. Okay. I'll see what I can come up with. Threepwood! I might have known you'd be wrapped up in this. It's just your kind of swamp. Yours too, it seems. I do like the moral black areas. How was your trip to Monkey Island? Damp. People kept dropping me into cauldrons of glop for some reason. But I'll have my revenge on all of them. Especially that withered zombie man on LeChuck's crew. Are you getting a cut of the secret too? They've promised me your skeleton. Minus the head, of course. How is it that you're not flat anymore? What the? How did you know about that? Who've you been talking to? I've got my eye on you, Threepwood. Uh, so to speak. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know it. Now, stop bothering me. I wonder if this arm bone has anything to do with anything. Those must be Lila's disguise making potions. Did you bring something secret from one of the crew? Not yet. I'll work on that. Be quick about it. many fond, greasy memories. They've sealed it shut. Drowning down with just me thoughts. Hello again. Again? I don't know you. I'd remember an ugly mug like yours. Ooh, my mistake. See you later. Don't wait. Hold on, only joking. Hang about. Maybe you can give me a hand. I'm a bit stuck. Did I see you stuff a notebook into your shirt? There's nothing you need to know about. Go away. What's in the notebook? Is it a diary? Look, it, it, it's poems, all right? Zombie pirate poems, but, but they're not finished. I've got some problems to work out with them still. Maybe I could help you with your poetry? I've dangled a metaphor or two in my day. Well, I am stuck in a few places. For instance, what rhymes with worms? Germs. Oh yeah, that could work. All right then, I also need an idea for something that grows. Roses. I think that fits. How about a rhyme for black? Snack. Right, uh, of course. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Uh, I was a bit underwater there, but I think at least I can call the first volume wrapped up now. Hey. What do you want? Now that they're finished, would you show me your poems? I suppose that'd be all right, seeing as how you contributed in a small way. Let's uh, keep it between us for now, though. Don't go showing these around. I wouldn't dream of it. Could be a humerus, or maybe the ulna. It's hard to tell without some deep forensic analysis. Wow, these are really bad poems. I see why Gullet was keeping them secret.
Hey, partner. Did you bring something secret from one of the crew? I did. Gullet was keeping this under wraps. Can you use it to make a disguise? Like chomping worms or colorful germs. I can see why someone would want to keep this a secret. It's drivel. It's perfect! Qui doloram ipsi, quia dolor sitamet. Ooh! Nisi uta liquid vexia comedo consequat. Exceptor sin docecat, quidetat non proident. Use the first poem to activate the disguise, and the last one to be yourself again. Fantastic! Thanks! Keep us looped in on your progress. Yep, will do. Like chomping worms or colorful germs, ideas fill my head. The poems flow as roses grow, creatively undead. That's enough for now. I don't want to waste all the magic power. My soul is black. I've had a snack. The stench is growing worse. I miss the me I used to be before the zombies curse. See ya, partner. This can't be right. Isn't that a mop tree? I didn't realize you were on a mop quest. Not since my college days. And then I was just experimenting. That's not important right now. Someone messed up, and I think I know who. Body! Like chomping worms or colorful germs. Permission to come aboard? Go it. I thought we'd lost you. Sorry to disappoint you. Am I that obvious? Note to self, practice people skills. Your voice sounds funny. Uh, yeah, uh, <clears throat> still a few quarts of seawater in the lungs, I guess. I guess. Anyway, Welcome back to the ship. Do me a favor and guard this spot until the Chuck and Iron Rose get back. I finally finished the piece I was working on, and I want to block out ten minutes for celebrating on a beach where none of you can find me. I promise I'll give it my utmost attention. I won't let you down. What? Nothing. You just seem different. Don't let anybody on board or I'll stab you again. This is a bunch of empty containers of monkey blood and squid ink. Hey, Bob. Hey, Gullet. You smell cleaner than usual. Thanks. Do you happen to know LeChuck's catchphrase? I'm uh, trying to be more like him. Well, then you should change your catchphrase every few minutes. I have no idea how he keeps track. Do you happen to know LeChuck's favorite food? No, but Putra probably does, seeing as how she's the cook and all. Right. Does LeChuck have a theme song? I'm planning a surprise. Surprising LeChuck doesn't sound like a good idea, but he did say something recently about having a theme composed. I don't know if it was ever finished. See ya. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. And I wouldn't want to wake him up. Hey, 
Hey, I can see all the way to the giant monkey head. Madison, Lila, and Trent are all talking. They look happy. Planning what to do when they're finished with me, no doubt. Well, I'll have the last laugh. Ha! If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. It's LeChuck's personal diary. I wouldn't have pegged him as the type for self-reflection. It's the theme music Flair was working on. Or something like that. A jaunty little tune like this would be great at parties. Call it, you tough old slab of crocodile meat. Somehow I knew you'd make it back. Can I fix you something to eat? Uh, no thanks. Not so hungry right now. Really? 
I can't remember you ever saying no to food before. You must have something on your mind, as unlikely as that sounds. You cook for LeChuck. Does he have a favorite dish? Well, that's easy. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Yeah. Don't blame me. It's not my favorite food. Are we almost to the part about the triple cross? Almost. Tentacles with daisy sauce. Ah, a classic. Thanks, chef. You're welcome. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? I can and I would, but I'm all out of daisies. Well, I've got work to do. Right. Can I borrow your demon pepper? No. It's weird that you'd even ask after what happened in Barbados. Yeah. Well, I've got work to do. Right. It's kind of soothing in a weird way. What's the soup of the day? Remember Mad Flora and Yancey the Gunner? Yikes. Don't give me any grief. They'll be delicious. That's held shut with a pretty sturdy piece of timber. They boarded it shut. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? Ew. It's some driftwood that washed up on the beach. I can relate. I don't eat trail berries. Not after what happened last time, and the time before that. Just a whole lot of jungle around here. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? Really trust you? Absolutely. Absolutely. I know all of the Chuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. You're the one who knows how it goes, so you're in charge. Your instrument is over there. Watch who you're calling an instrument. Is it uncomfortable to be stuck on a pointy stake? I know an easy way you can find out. Now, stop bothering me. Uh, ouch! Hey! You make a lovely sound when struck with a bone. Don't try to justify your abuse, you callous clod. Your day is coming.
Lord. I guess Lila used them all up when she made the disguise. How's that theme music going? Is there a problem? I know how LeChuck's theme music goes. Well? It occurs to me that if I tell you the secrets before we do whatever ritual thing it is you're planning, I lose all my leverage. This is a relationship built on trust. Then I guess you'll just have to trust me. I'll let you know when I have all the information, and then we'll do the ritual together. Fine, fine. Just hurry up. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Labores nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Brandish? My blasphemous bilges. Quis atem vel veleptate vel eat. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Eat it? I thought I just had to know what it was. No. When we first talked about this, I said we have to eat it. You didn't bring any? Uh, no. Ugh, fine. Go and get some of whatever it is and we'll try it again. I think so. I've got enough to last me. See ya, partner. It's faded over the years, but it still says private property.
Oh, Elaine loves daisies. Oh, Elaine loves daisies. Just what I need. Like chomping worms or colorful germs. Can you make me some tentacles with daisy sauce? I can and I would, but I'm all out of daisies. What a delightful spray of daisies. Could you make tentacles with daisy sauce with these? Nice. They look organic. Have it for you in a jiff. Bon appetit. That's it? Sometimes simple is best. Remind me again when we get rid of Threepwood. You have the memory of a gnat with a concussion. Uh, I'm just looking forward to it, that's all. Once we find the secret, you can have him. Ha! They won't get the chance. As soon as the map is visible, I'm grabbing it and getting out of here. Hey, partners. Hey, partner. We're ready on our end. Have you learned LeChuck's secrets yet? I know all of LeChuck's secrets. Let's do this thing. Okay. Let's get started. The first step is to play LeChuck's theme music. Do, do, me, so, pa, pa, pray. Promising. Next step. Madison, let's have the map. Quis nostra fugiat nulla tempor. Labores nisi ex comedo consequat. Quick, say LeChuck's catchphrase. Brandish. My blasphemous. Bilges. Quis atem vel veleptate velit. Now, eat LeChuck's favorite food. Do I have to? Yes. Can't someone else do it? No. Ugh. Okay. Lines on it. It's working. Wow, this dark magic stuff gets kind of intense. Anybody see where the map got to? Not your concern. Thanks for your help. Time to go. Wait. 
Any last words before we drop you off the cliff and retrieve the secret for ourselves? What happened to our deal? Don't pretend you didn't intend to double-cross us and steal the map the first chance you got. You don't know that for sure. It's in your to-do list. Oh. And now good riddance to Murray, the annoying demonic skull. Wait, I have a family. Good. Trent, let's have a look at the map again. Odd. It was just in my pocket. Never mind. I remember what was on it. Let's go get the secret. It came from over here somewhere. What the? Threepwood? So, you survived walking the plank only to stumble off a cliff. I always knew you were a buffoon, but this really takes the prize. Speaking of taking the prize, as you lie here, slowly dying, feel free to torment yourself with the knowledge that I will shortly have the secret. And then, the fairy lane as well. <laughs> I didn't quite catch that, but no matter. Your last words will be forgotten, along with you. Soon, not even the stench of your passing will remain, as the world moves impeccably onward. Captain LeChuck, it's Captain Madison, sir. She and the others have just set sail. They're leaving the island. Leaving? They must know where the secret is. If we hurry, we can catch them at sea and persuade them to share. <laughs> oh, this hurts. Oh, I think it hurts more than that time with the cannon in the tent pole. Hello? Is someone here? Guybrush! Oh no! Are you okay? I think my pancreas is broken. Do you even know where your pancreas is? Judging by the pain, I'd say everywhere. What are you doing here? Did you come to rescue me? How did you even get to Monkey Island? I guess you made the potion? You used a potion to get here? It's so cute. But let's not get sidetracked. You've fallen off a cliff. I can't compete with LeChuck or Madison, let alone both. They've got crews. They've got ships. They've got supernatural magic powers. I've got some crackers and two monocles. And your charming personality. Might as well just lie here and starve to death. I've got a better idea. Come back with me to Scurvy Island. I'll take a break from the Scurvy Project to nurse you back to health. What difference does it make? Well, it makes a difference to me, if nothing else. Come on, let's go. Yeah, why not? I'll never get the secret now that the map is gone. Did somebody say that? Hello? Murray, is that the map to the secret? That melon head put me in his pocket with it. I grabbed it for leverage. Holy cow! The secret is at the voodoo shop on Melee Island! Change of plan, Elaine. We're going back to Melee. We are? Well, what about all the things you just said? I must have hit my head. Where's your ship? It's actually your ship! Your old ship, I mean. The sea monkey is wrecked on a beach just east of here. I know, I saw it. I got dropped off here so I could fix it up as a surprise for your birthday. What a great present. You always amaze me. I had no idea you knew ship repair. I don't know any more than you do, but I brought a manual. Why don't we fix it together? You can do the goopy parts. Race you to the ship!
I feel like we're entering a new phase in our relationship. I am trying to contain my joy. I feel like we're entering a new phase. Come on, Murray. You got our work cut out for us. I don't relish the idea of being with you, but I guess it beats spending the next hundred years on this stump. Maybe. Wait, not the pocket. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Slowpoke, you had a head start. Should we get started? Ready when you are. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. Advanced ship repair for the dummy klutz. It's like it was written just for me. We did what we could with the materials at hand. Oh, I love it. It oozes nostalgia. Among other things, you steer, I'll bail. expect Madison or LeChuck's ship to be here by now. Oh my goodness, look at the damage! I've got to go and talk to Carla about organizing earthquake relief. You're not coming to the voodoo shop? Well, of course I want to, but this is a crisis. There'll be other damage. I have to help. Well, I'll want to hear all about it later. Right. Yeah. See you soon. Watch the ship for me. Uh, bite anyone who tries to steal it. You're fine. There aren't any scrap lumber dealers on Melee. Did you feel the earthquake? I was too busy running for my life! <laughs> I hear patio dining is all the rage these days. You could think of this as a head start on renovations. Insurance would probably have helped. You saved the cookbook. Yes, I saved the cookbook. The ceiling was collapsing, the building was on fire, people running everywhere, and I saved the cookbook. Why? Excellent question. I can think of a hundred other things I'd rather have saved. My favorite 12-inch knife, my collection of rare spices, a painting of my father, a mop that I've painstakingly crafted with my own hands, my cat. But in a crisis, you don't think. There isn't time. You just act. And by acting, you expose your inner self. Heroism and villainy are revealed in moments like these. Me? I saved the cookbook. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you done with the cookbook? I'd like it back. I don't imagine I'll have much use for it now. <laughs> you should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks, I'll do that. <laughs> How come you're still here? The bar is half collapsed and slightly on fire. Not done with my drink. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. Secrets will be ours. 
hours. I've been searching for the secret since before you were born. That's exactly my point. Finding the secret is a young pirate's game. of experience and me relentless drive will ensure the secret be mine. Only if you don't have a heart attack first. Ha! Last chance to give it up. Then we obliterate you. Get off my ocean! I'm impressed by your crosswind ramming technique. I'll have to add that to my book. My crew is quite skilled when given the right motivation. I'm still worried about Threepwood. He shows up in the most unexpected ways. We don't have to worry about Threepwood anymore. I left him broken and near death at the bottom of a cliff. His eye was pussing up, and bone was protruding from his leg. Animals have probably already scattered his limbs from one end of the island to the other. So it's agreed. We stop fighting each other, and we join forces to find the secret. Agreed. No funny stuff. We split the secret. Teammates. Someone to face Delane's scurvy flyer. Am I too late? Was LeChuck here? Did Madison come? Did they get it? Where's the secret? You've had it all this time! I possess little and much. To what are you referring? Don't play dumb with me, Karina. I have the map. The secret of Monkey Island is here. What is it you wish to know? Can't you read my mind? No need. I can read your face well enough. The secret is where you suspect it is. Inside the large safe near the front door. Where are the keys to the safe? I'd like to get it open as soon as possible. I am prevented from helping you with the keys. Uh. But there is one close by who knows much. How do I find him? Her. And she will find you. How do you know that? She is outside the shop. Why did you take the secret? Doesn't it belong on Monkey Island? I have taken nothing. The safe came to me as you see it and belongs to someone else. I accepted a fee and cast a spell upon it to prevent it being moved. That is all. Who owns the safe? Alas, there are forces which prevent me from revealing the true owner. A contract signed in blood with gruesome punishments for disclosure. Some kind of a voodoo thing? No. How could you keep this a secret from me? You knew I was looking for it. It is not a secret from you, Guybrush Threepwood. It is a secret, full stop. I am bound by an agreement. Have LeChuck or Captain Madison been here? No. That's weird. They were way ahead of me. Sometimes it's better to have two enemies than one. But you should not waste time. I might have more questions for you later. I might have answers, but I make no promises. What happened to your cauldron? I sold it to a soup shop on another island. They didn't mind the magic spell residue. to leave it here, but I can't take the safe with me, and I need to find keys to open it. Ah! You found the secret. You are a spark among fallen leaves. Secret? What secret? I admit nothing. You can't hide that look in your eye. I know it well. 
I am Whitey Lean Bones. Whitey. Like you? The hunt for the secret consumes me. Like you, I know where the secret lies, but lack the means to open the safe. You must have many questions. How do I open the safe? Five locks, five keys. Golden keys, hidden long ago. What do the golden keys look like? They're gold. It's just paint, but they look nice. Where can I find the golden keys? Most are found already. Got one myself. Old Mrs. Smith had one before she died, and Bella Fisher, too. Also, I heard one was found on Bermuda. That's only four. One more was supposed to be hidden on Terror Island. That one has never been found. Hang on, I'm writing all this down on my to-do list. This doesn't sound so hard. A lot of people don't come back from Terror Island. Also, Bella Fisher sank out at sea and nobody knows where. Took her key with her. Oh. Can I borrow the key you have, just to try it out? Not so fast, bright boy. Whitey Bones is not such an easy mark. You prove yourself. Get some skin in the game. Find me when you've got more keys than I do, and maybe... I talk partnership. Why is the secret in the safe instead of on Monkey Island? Do you know? Secret's always been in the safe. Uh-huh. How come I never heard about any of this before? I'm kind of a secret of Monkey Island buff. You'd think I'd know about it. The clues were buried deep and clever. Only a few ever puzzled them out. And we keep ourselves to ourselves. This all seems needlessly complicated. Life is like that sometimes. Best just enjoy the ride. You seem more lucid than when you were hanging out of the window on High Street. We all got our good days and our bad ones. If you don't know already, then you'll see. See you around, Whitey. I've got keys to track down. Okay, bright boy. But you watch your step. There is a curse. The keys are protected by a terrible curse. Beware. Whoa, a curse? Really? No. I mean, yes, she did say that, but she was just being dramatic. Whitey likes to make a big exit. Well, one thing's for sure. I don't know how to get to either of those islands she mentioned. I'd better get a good sea map right away. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Doing fine. Snazzy sign. Well, he's done well for himself. Still in business. Nothing free. Wait, weren't those monocles free? Ooh. Those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. Hey, Wally. Have you got a sea map of the local area? Can you jot down the locations of Terror Island and Bermuda? No problem. I'll also add a few extras. The ship tracking feature is going to blow your mind. It's a little trick I know. You need to be able to go the extra mile if you want to make it in the big time, like me. Be careful. The last pirates I made a map to Terror Island for were never seen again. And Bermuda can chill you to the bone. Not many pirates want to head up there. Oh, and when you get to Scurvy Island, say hi to Elaine for me. Thanks, Wally. And sorry about blowing you up that one time. Hmm. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. It's a cookbook. 
It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. I'll wait until I'm back on my ship to open it. Welcome to the God's Wallop. Thanks. We feature the freshest fish on the block, and the freshest company mm. as well. Whether you're here to buy or just pass the time, we don't mind. Though, of course, we do prefer it if you make a purchase. Didn't you guys used to be the pirate leaders? It's me, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, I thought when we spotted him skulking around town that he looked passing familiar. The shop seems nice. If by nice, you mean a glorious cathedral to the fine art of fishing, then I quite agree. Have a look around, why don't ya? Are these eels? Pikefish. Very tasty, but don't let them get around your neck. These are tremendous. What are they? We don't actually know. Found them at the bottom of the shipment. They have hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. I'd like to buy some fish. That's an excellent life decision, me lad. Today we've got hagfish, toadfish, slimehead, bloater, and lump sucker. Mm. What'll it be? Hagfish. Here's a box full. Should be plenty. You want me to run a tab for you? Sure. Thanks. What are these pointy ones? Slime heads. Some folks like to cut off the pointy parts before eating, but that's a personal choice. I'd like to trade my fish in for some slime heads. Stout fellow. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. He's a handsome devil. First fish I ever caught. Couldn't bear to eat it. Of course, I was only a lad of three at the time. Nice crab. Fought him for 11 hours. Sorely wanted to eat him, <laughs> but it weren't crab season at the time. Nice shark. Don't let the size fool ya. The coral fire shark is the most dangerous shark of all. That one took down 17 good sailors mm. and three dinghies before we even reeled them in. He's a handsome devil. First fish I ever caught. Couldn't bear to eat it. Of course, I was only a lad of three at the time. Flounders sure are funny looking fish. You say that now, but wait till you're alone and sinking in a fierce northern squall, battling to land the beastie in time to use him to patch the hole in your boat. What are these blobby guys? Toadfish. Surprisingly, no relation to actual toads. It's a copy of At the End of the Plank. Oh, I a gift from a good friend. I haven't actually read it myself yet. How much for the goldfish? Sushi's a pet. She's not for sale at any price. She's property of the chums. Shh. With the who? No one. It's too late. The bait's out of the bag. We might as well tell him. The Chums is by way of being a semi-secret society of anglers. Mostly we tell stories. Aye, stories about fish. Can I join the Chums? I feel as though I should warn you that, this being the more casual mode of the game, participation in the Chums is strictly for fun. There'll be no reward whatsoever for doing it successfully. Totally useless activity. Got it. Can I join anyway? Well... I promise to keep it semi-secret. Have you got mm. any good fish stories? Yeah. One time, 
I was swallowed by a manatee. No one knows what a manatee is. Trust me, make it a whale. It'll be better. Okay. Take this fishing lure. Other chums will have these too, on their clothes or displayed somewhere. Go out and find them, show them your lure, and tell them your story. They'll give you advice. Learn all you can, then come back here and tell us your story again. You could start with that young pirate that hangs around at the scum bar. Don't tell him where to start. He's supposed to look for the lures. Well, they look great, but I don't have a wheelbarrow. Mm. <gasps> what are those fish up there called? Floaters. Best not to ask why. That's an amazing trophy you have there. Aye, that's a combination trophy and fly swatter. In case we ever get an insect infestation. What are these little yellow guys? They're lump suckers. Easy to eat and great for sucking out cysts and boils. Are the blowfish for sale? No, indeed. These are for personal use. They're excellent for burping contests. Care to join us? Don't mind if I do. Declare us all the winner. Can I trade in my fish for some other ones? Talk to the grizzly gentleman at the counter about that, please. Yeah, it's my shift. Well, you guys fish. Have you ever heard of someone called Bella Fisher? Bella Fisher. Aye, she could spin a yarn from Port Royal to Trinidad and back again. And a consummate angler she was. B what Good at fishing. She had a secret fishing spot she did. More bounteous than the whole rest of the sea together. She probably rests there now, being as she did disappear on a fishing trip. No one knows the location. Though it is rumored that she left a clue as to its whereabouts. Did Bella Fisher ever show you a big fancy key? No, I don't think so. Not to my memory. Just thought I'd check. Hey, how about a burping contest? <laughs> Always! Declare us all the winner. Did you guys feel the earthquake? That we did. At first, I thought it were just me stomach complaining about me breakfast. Aye, we all thought that. I'm hunting for the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? What a prize! I know! They say the pirate what holds the secret can never be sunk, that the wind always fills his sails. In the old days, we might have gone after it ourselves. But we've got new fish to fry, so to speak. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. I think I'll browse today's catch. You'll find none better. Aw, 
This is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. It seems to be stuck closed. Employees only. Hey, Guybrush! It's been reduced to rubble. The lamp broke. Possibly an improvement. It says jail rules. One, no escaping. Two, no earthquakes. Otis, 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 what are we gonna do with you? I didn't do anything this time. I was framed. Where's Stan? Did they let him go? Uh, no, Stan got sentenced to a hard time. Did you know he was representing himself? I've heard that's unwise. They took him to the ice quarry on Bermuda. What did you do to get arrested this time? Nothing! I was just standing there minding my own business, applying for earthquake relief. Did you know you're only allowed to do that once? There is no justice. Are you worried the rest of the building will cave in? Yes! You think you could spring me again? Ugh, I doubt it. It looks like something happened to the serial number on this lock. I'd like you to tell the museum curator about our jailbreak all those years ago. The one with the mugs of grog. He doesn't seem to have the story quite right. Of course, the truth is important. When I am free again, I will pay him a visit. Well, I don't see that happening anytime soon. Let's visit again soon. Have your people call my people. Spider! Ugh, it's that same spider. Looks sort of like an eye. Welcome back. Hiya! At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. These are nice. Thanks. Hello again. Can I get another key made? Sure. Just write down the serial number and give it to me. Hello again. Would your mother perhaps have been known as Old Mrs. Smith? Whitey Bones said something about an Old Mrs. Smith. Well, I didn't call her that. But I suppose some people did. Mainly when she was older. Did your mother find any of those golden keys she was looking for? One. She left it to me in her well. I will pay you any amount of money you like for your mother's key. That old thing? Really? I'll give you a hundred thousand pieces of eight. You don't look like you have that kind of money. Listen, if it means that much to you, just take it. Yes! That was surprisingly easy and uncomplicated. Don't get used to it. Life's not like that very often. Hello again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I wonder what they're waiting for. I wonder what they're waiting for. What are y'all waiting for? Earthquake relief. And you'd better not be looking to jump the line. I wouldn't dream of it. Those who cut, get cut. Thanks, Carla. Good luck. Guybrush! Hi! I want to hear all about the secret, but I've got to go back to Scurvy Island right now. Let's talk later. 
Okay. Have you seen the line of people outside? Those are citizens who were affected by the quake. But there isn't any money in the coffers to support the relief effort. I'm basically handing out IOUs. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. My brilliant deduction is that the museum is closed. It's the Museum of Pirate Lore, but it says it's closed. The light's off. Looks like they're closed. time for them to fly south. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. Stan's building collapsed. This place looks like an earthquake hit it. This must be that old toothbrush Stan wanted. There's a torn picture in here. This half shows Stan himself. I remember the first time Stan tried to fleece me. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Hi there, little guy. It's nicely dried, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think I'll fill up my coat pockets with this bulky firewood. Seems like it might come in handy somewhere, and I'm sure no one will miss it. I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you.
Wanted. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of the person or persons who destroyed the historic mop tree. I'll, uh, keep an eye out for them. Don't get any funny ideas while I'm away from the ship. No problem. I'll pretend I'm one of the writers. You should probably put out the rest of these flames. Thanks. I'll do that. I'm closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. It's nicely dry, pre-cut, and ready to go. I think they've captured Stan quite well, actually. They did a nice job with the coat. It's old and the bristles are frayed, but it does resemble a toothbrush. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. I show this to other people who have them to start a storytelling session. You want this cookbook? Thanks. I'm all done with that now. Ooh, nice upgrade for eating al fresco. Ahoy! 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 Permission to come aboard. Afraid we can't let you do that. Permission to come aboard, sir. This isn't a protocol issue. Although we do enjoy a good protocol. Are you going to let me talk? Apparently, that's what you enjoy doing. There's been a deadly scurvy outbreak on the ship. We're under strict quarantine, so we don't infect others with this deadly pathogen. Where'd you get that cool flag with the hull? We found it floating in the ocean. It's Bella Fisher's flag. She probably lost it when her ship went down. We're afraid to take it down and offend the scurvy gods. <sighs> there is no such thing as the scurvy gods. Well, then why is there scurvy? Answer me that! Can I have your flag? Did you not hear me? Scurvy! On board! Quarantine! Well, you could just toss it down to me. Best not to risk it. It's probably crawling with scurvy, trust me. I don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My friend's nephew's barber's brother says it is. It's a scientific fact. Oh, don't try to snow us with your science quackery. If scurvy wasn't contagious, then only one person would have it. <laughs> Duh. I really don't think scurvy is contagious. You don't know that. My uncle's best friend's wife's dog walker says it is. Peddle your science to someone more gullible. Bye. Don't let the scurvy bite you. Scurvy bites? Oh, I knew this was bad. This clever mashup really gets the point across. I'm sensing a generally negative attitude directed at visitors. You have the deductive power of a cantaloupe. The messages are a little mixed, but clearly enthusiastic. You're welcome, and thank you! It's seen better days. It won't budge. It's strong magic. I can still get it open with a spell, but I need a good power spot. It beats trying to find the keys. We don't even know where to start. It could take forever. Only a fool would do that. 
I know an excellent place for power spells, but it's not on this island. No problem. We can craft it there and then come back here. We'll take my ship. I'll stay here to keep an eye on the safe. And steal the secret yourself? I don't think so. Stop it. <laughs> Clearly, no one trusts anyone to stay behind. We'll all go together. What if someone else finds out the thing is here? The only map is lost somewhere on Monkey Island. Probably eaten by a wild boar by now. The map maker knows it's here. I've got a bone to pick with him anyway. I'm thinking maybe one of the large ones in the leg. Ah, Scurvy Island. This is where Elaine's been growing all the limes for the Marley Foundation Scurvy Project. She's probably back here by now. I can't wait to see her. It says the Marley Foundation Scurvy Treatment and Prevention League, or STAPL, welcomes you to Scurvy Island, 1.5 miles to STAPL headquarters. Hello? Hey, this used to be a picture of both of us. What happened to the me part? Hi, I'm working due west of the lake and due north of the lighthouse today. I pinched a yak with it once, and then I sort of accidentally pinched the staple remover. I had it for years before I remembered to give it back to Elaine. She was happy and mad at the same time. Mappy. It obviously means something to Elaine, too. sure has been busy. These groves go on forever. Elaine and I swim there sometimes. Elaine and I debate about whether it looks like a parrot or a cockatoo. Oh, I love that place. It's like a hundred foot candy cane. I got swept over the edge one time. Good thing Elaine knows CPR. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Where do I find the mint groves? Hi, I'm working due west of the lake and due north of the lighthouse today. I was hoping I'd run into you again. I was hoping that too. What happened at the voodoo shop? Did you get the secret? Not yet, but I'm closer than ever. I just have to gather a few golden keys together and I'm good to go. That sounds promising. What about LeChuck and Captain Madison? They weren't there, oddly enough. Well, be careful. How's your project going? The project has hit a snag. We have plenty of limes, as you can see. But people are refusing to take them. They say they don't like the taste and they don't believe they'll help with scurvy. As an elected official, I could have issued an edict. But as a private citizen, I have to convince people. I tried this flyer. 
Yeah, I've read part of this. I know. I, I know it's terribly dry, but the facts are there. Have you tried using a different font? Comic Sans, for example. Yes, but I need a small one to fit all the information on. What about adding bullet points? They could be little limes. People not liking limes is part of the problem, though. Good point. What if the text was centered instead of left justified? Somehow I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. I'm not sure what to tell you. It's basically a sales and marketing problem, and neither of us is an expert in either of those things. Yeah, I see what you mean. I'll hang on to the flyer. Maybe I can find a sales and marketing expert to look at it. Okay. I hear these can help prevent scurvy. You heard right. Can you spare any limes? You can take a few. Well, like I said, I'm having trouble giving them away. Hi. Hi. How come the picture of us on your desk was torn in half? Ah, uh, yes. Sorry you saw that. There was an incident with a seagull. It flew away with you into the lime groves. I looked, but I couldn't find you. I see. What do you think of Stan Stanman as a marketing advisor? He's in jail, but maybe he can look at the pamphlet anyway? That guy could sell fleas to a dog and probably would. Just what we need, actually. Good idea. I'll go find Stan now. Thanks. It's a torn painting of me. This is torn from a portrait of Elaine and me. I've already got plenty of limes. I've already got plenty of limes. That's where all the driftwood goes during driftwood mating season. Patrolling the deck, ready to kick me into the sea? Sounds like the coast is clear. I hope. Unless it's a trap. You are a disgrace to the pirating profession. I'm more focused on the staying alive profession right now, thanks. So far, so good. I think it's out of juice. So, um, obviously I'm actually Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. Again. I assume that's your real skin this time? Yeah. Sorry for tricking you with the other two. Two? Uh, one. Math's not my best subject. Either way, don't worry about it. You're LeChuck's rival, not mine. I've got better things to worry about. Also, I enjoyed the book you brought me. Where is everybody? Flambe is up in the crow's nest. Odds are he's sleeping. Iron Rose said she was running an errand. The rest went with LeChuck on that other ship. Would that be Captain Madison's ship? I think that's right. Interesting. Uh, don't tell LeChuck I was here, okay? No, 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 don't worry. I wouldn't want to risk making him that angry. He gets a bit, um, scary. Hang in there, Bob. Hmm. Still not funny. I wouldn't want to wake him up. 
These things get more sophisticated every year. If I'm wrong about what that is, taking it would be a big mistake. If I'm right, it would be a bigger one. I already have some chicken feed. It's Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Putra keeps a hot fire going here. Halt, ship. If, if that's what you can call that. Made it myself. It's a source of pride. This is a scurvy inspection point. The law requires that you're carrying limes before I allow you to proceed north. Here, look, I have limes, see? To proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. Right? Let's see how you've done. Well, we have a problem right off the start. We don't allow pirates on Bermuda. I'm going to have to request that you leave these waters immediately. Does it help if I'm a mighty pirate? No. Back so soon, to proceed north, you'll have to fill out a customs declaration form. Name? Guybrush Threepwood. Fill this out and be completely honest. All 
right? Let's see how you've done. You forgot to check that you're carrying limes. I'll check that for you. Hmm, good answer. Interesting you would check that one. Good penmanship. Not checking that was smart. Okay, this looks in order. You may proceed with full approval of the Bermuda Port Authority. The bucket filled to the brim with rotten fish bones. The wind must have blown out the fire. It's amazing they stay lit in this weather. I'm staying far away from this. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. It says, Courthouse of Bermuda. It's locked. Maybe I'll come back later. Order! Order in the court! I am going to cite you for contempt of court for not asking permission to approach the bench. I humbly apologize. May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. How do you plead? There must be some mistake here. Order! Order in the court! Quiet on the gallery or there will be arrests! What did Your Honor do wrong to get this appointment? Never beat a Supreme Court justice in cribbage. Your Honor, do you have to buy your own robes? <laughs> or are they court appointed? Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Your Honor, are you wearing pants under that robe? Please remember that you're under oath. Order! Order in the court! If I don't get order, I am going to clear the court! Did I mention I am searching for the secret of Monkey Island? Until it becomes a legal matter before the court, it is of no interest to me. Although, I do remember a case several years back where the secret was claimed to be a fraud and a scam to sell computer games. I believe that was settled out of court for a substantial sum. That is all, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! May I approach the bench, Your Honor? You may approach the bench. Court is now in session. Judge Plank presiding. I have no business with the court, Your Honor. Court is adjourned! Toasty. Now there's someone I've got to meet. special about this stump? No. Why? Well, it was tagged, so I thought, you know, maybe there would be a great gag about a secret opening to a system of tunnels or something like that. Please, don't joke about tunnels next to the prison, sir. Hi. Any chance I could get inside the quarry? Not many try to get in here. Just out. What's the purpose of your visit? I was hoping for a tour. We don't give tours here. The only people allowed inside are the prisoners. And also, I suppose, people visiting the prisoners, but no one ever does that. Are you in the chums? Mm, not saying anything. I'd like to visit a prisoner, please. We do have a visitation policy, but it's quite strict. Who are you here to see? Stan. We do have a stem. I'm a little surprised he'd have a visitor. Can you prove you know him? I can describe him. Loud jacket. Never stops moving his arms. Or his lips. That does sound like him. 
but I'm supposed to see some actual physical evidence. Just bring me something that shows you two have ever been in a room together. That way, I can tell my fa... Uh, my boss that I did my job. Do not approach the gate, please, sir. The guard is guardedly guarding the guardhouse. Uh, I don't think so. This is Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Tasting it is not a good idea. What do you think of this picture of me and my extremely dear friend stand together? We had it painted at our local muskrat club meeting. You look real close. All right, you can go in and see him, but no escapes. I wouldn't dream of it. You don't want to be right there when I open the gate. Go stand next to his stump. All clear. You know, Stan? Keep on walking. You'll find him. Loud guy. Big hat. Oh, he's in the back corner. You know where Stan is? Way in the back. Loud guy. Big hat. He's in the back corner. You know, Stan? He's in the back corner. You know, Stan? Way in the back. Looks like they have room for one more prisoner. It looks like a secret escape tunnel. Hey, Stan. Hi there, son. Nice to see you. What are you in for? About five to ten. Minutes or hours? You don't have the look of a man doing any more than that. Nope, you have the look of a man who's going places, and who might want to decorate those places when he gets there. I want you to consider these two words. Ice. Sculpture. Separately, they're exciting. Strength. Elegance. Transparency. Together, they could be life-changing. The chill of the Arctic combined with the blaze of the avant-garde. Nature. Stan? I don't think so. Don't wait too long, they're selling like hotcakes. Did you know there's an escape tunnel over there? Oh no, son, I can't escape. Wouldn't be wise. I'm only in for a month, after all. Got a copy of the judge's order right here. Yeah, I sure did get off light. Lucky for me, they never caught on to my pyramid scheme, or I'd probably be doing ten years. Tell me more about that pyramid scheme you mentioned. Honestly, I don't know why the law makes such a big deal about it. It's just creative money management. Easy if you know what to do with the figures. I've got this accountant, Ned Filigree. He's a genius with that stuff. If they ever saw his records... Well, let's just say the first thing I'm doing when I get out is go burn all that paperwork. What was the name of your accountant again? Ned Filigree. He's good, and he works cheap. Be careful, though. He's got a hang-up about meticulous record-keeping that can be problematic if anyone looks too close. My hunt for the secret of Monkey Island is going great. Good for you, kid. Closing time comes too soon for us all. You gotta try all the snacks you can before it does. This place sure is quiet. That's what productivity sounds like. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. It's the judicial order for Stan's imprisonment. 
It says he only has one month left. Elaine and I could use some marketing advice. The Marley Foundation is trying to combat scurvy by distributing limes, but no one's willing to take them. I feel your pain, son. I had a similar problem selling life preservers in the farming community. Sometimes people don't know what they want even when they want it. You got any promotional materials? Elaine made this pamphlet. see the problem. It's wrong from top to bottom. You couldn't sell water to fish with this blather. It's a little dry. Well, it's got facts in it. Worse than that, scientific facts. I'll need to meet with her to iron this out. Can't you just tell me what to do and I'll tell her? No, no, that won't do. Things get lost in translation. A whinny isn't a whinny if it doesn't come out of a horse's mouth. No shade on you, son, but you're not a pro. You wouldn't be able to convey the nuance that's needed here. She and I have got to have a meeting of the minds, and minds have got to meet face to face. I'll let her know. I think I'll poke around a little. You enjoy yourself, son. Here, Stan, I think this is your toothbrush? Sweet gingerbread cake, that's old Bessie, all right. I'm much obliged. Stay back! I can see you! How did you find me? I just sailed up and here you were. Who are you? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Are you alone? Do obnoxious talking skulls count? No. Then yes, I'm alone. I heard that. I'm Ned Filigree, accountant. I don't mean to be rude, it's just that I'm in hiding. You wouldn't happen to have any business records pertaining to one Stan S. Stanman, would you? What? Who told you that? I can't confirm that. I will neither confirm nor deny possession of any incriminating... Uh, I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. Stan is serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Simply no need. So you confirm that you deny possession of Stan's records? What? Yes. I mean, no. I confirm nothing. What difference does it make? Stan is already serving a lengthy sentence. There's no need for any more evidence against him. Who is it you're afraid of? Stan, of course. Stan Stanman. Thank goodness they locked him away on Bermuda. He'll be chipping ice in the quarry for a long, long time. I can't help but be nervous, but actually, I guess I've got decades before I really have to worry about it. You must be good at math. I'm a creative accountant. Math doesn't really enter into it. You any good? Don't judge me by where I live. I've just had a few setbacks. It's all I can afford right now, but it's temporary. How come you're afraid of Stan? He's always struck me as pretty harmless. Except economically. Sure, but you never can tell what someone like Stan will do. He's got no moral center. Like I said, I'm glad he's safely stuck in the Bermuda Quarry for a good long time. I'm on a quest to recover the secret of Monkey Island. That's a good move. I've heard the secret is a one-of-a-kind intangible, which means you can assign it whatever value you want to. Also, since it's very old, you can claim a lot of depreciation. Wait, are you trying to tell me I'm going to have to pay taxes on the secret? Not if you're smart about it. I'm going to explore the island a little bit. Holler if you find anything interesting. Easy, Ned. He's not coming. I think you might be interested in this judicial order in the case against Stan S. Stanman. Ah, what's this? Only a month? Oh, no.
Take these records! Get them to the courthouse on Bermuda. They'll know what to do with them. It's very damaging stuff. Stan will get ten years at a minimum. I take care of it myself, but I've got to pack for witness protection. Oh, goodness! Can I have the picture? Not now. I'm packing. Can I help you pack? I can handle it. Just take that evidence to the court on Bermuda. Hey, Murray. This looks like a great place for you to spend the rest of your death. Don't even think about it, you traitorous worm. Remember who got you the map. expert, but this stuff looks as shady as an oak tree in a cave. This should be enough evidence to lock Stan up for a very long time. Your Honor, I submit these highly prejudicial and incriminating financial documents as Exhibit A in Everyone v. Stan. The evidence is so entered. Hmm. The court requires that Ned Filigree swear an affidavit if said evidence is to be accepted. I can swear like a sailor, if that helps. Order! Order in the court! Opposing counsel will refrain from vulgar language in this court. Can your honor please cite the statute requiring a sworn affidavit in cases of... Statute 7, section H, subsection G, parenthesis E. I see. And section U, parenthesis E, parenthesis II, subsection A, parenthesis B. Okay. And section S, parenthesis T, parenthesis F, subsection U. I withdraw the question. For the court, I can state that I'm Ned Filigree. This court can establish via V Customs documents that your name is actually Guybrush Stripwood. Well, Guybrush is more of a jovial nickname. In light of this new evidence, I hereby sentence Stan to ten years of hard labor in the ice quarry with no chance of parole. Please retain this legally binding documents for your records. Hey, Stan. Uh, I have some disturbing news about your sentence. Ten years? Oh no, I get to a month standing on my head, but not ten years. You gotta get me out of here. Consider it done. Hey, Stan. You gotta get me out of here, son. I can't do ten years. This key doesn't fit. I can read the serial number. I'll copy it down. This is the one for Stan's shackles.
Hi there. Hi there. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. A shackle key, eh? Special extreme cold hardened version. They don't even make these shackles anymore. I guess you've had them a while? Oh, yeah. They've been in my family for generations. Somehow, I don't think he's doing fine. Wally? What happened here? Wally's shop has been ransacked. Wally, can you hear me? Are you okay? I guess he's not here. And he's probably not okay. Who could have done this? I guess LeChuck, obviously. This is all that's left of Wally's standard-sized maps, globe, odd-sized maps, and boxes of other maps. Well, they left behind the solid gold compass rose. This was no standard plundering. These maps were Wally's life's work. At least I assume so. Stanarino. It's the key I had made for Stan's shackles. Ah, freedom. Now let's get out of here before they come by to refrost the shackles. Yes, I want to take you to talk to Elaine about the lines. I'm so glad you could come, Mr. Stanman. Always happy to help out a fellow entrepreneur in a non-competing industry. We'll start with branding. Lime is the residue in a bathtub. It's thin, it's unappealing. Saying it out loud sounds like whining. We need something with sizzle, with edge, like razor bombs or sour bombs or something. I see what you mean. Guybrush, you were once a young man with adrenaline issues. What do you think? Sublimes. Let's not get too clever, son. Remember the target market. Razor bombs it is. Your promo flyer has also got to go. Now let me just show you what I'm thinking. We want snake oil, crystal vibrations. The more miraculous and improbable it sounds, the better. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with lying. Then we won't put it into words. We'll use a picture. Pictures don't lie, they imply. Guybrush, if razor bombs could do anything in the world for you, what would you want it to be? Find the secret of Monkey Island. Guybrush! That's good, but I'm thinking more along the lines of a superpower. Amazing strength? Good, yes! Muscles on your muscles! Now, lastly, we need a call to action. Get cold, or go dark, or take that! Those don't mean anything. Don't need to. It's just a short, punchy slogan that sounds like you're supposed to do something right now. Hmm... Bite these. Almost too meaningful, but I think we can work with it. This is your new flyer. Show people this and they'll be begging for your product. Name your price, firstborn, anything. Actually, we'll be giving them away. This is a public health initiative. 
What? Well, now that's just crazy talk. You don't give away the prize bull just because people need bulls, if you follow me. I'm definitely sensing some bull here, if you follow me. Well, it's about time to close anyway. You can mail me my cut. I'm out of here. Don't follow me. Your cut? Now, wait just a minute. It's a very convincing piece of marketing. I'll just borrow this for a little while. I have some exciting scurvy news for you. Read this. Razor bombs, the new amazing miracle fruit. Ah, regrows hair, removes belly fat. Oh, also cures scurvy. Fantastic. Have you got any of these miracle razor bombs? Sure thing, right here. These little green guys. You're sure there's no science in them? Check the flyer. You won't find a whiff of science. We're saved! Point these, and welcome aboard! It's seen better days. It's Bella Fisher's flag. It's got 15 little marks along the edge, and there's a hole in it. The hole shows the exact location. I'll mark it with an X. This is certainly exciting. It's chained to my ship. Watch out below! Sea Monkey 2. Everybody loves a sequel. Looks like I've tracked you down. Really far down, actually. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's shiny. It's not my fault. They shouldn't have stuck the key in there so hard. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen one too many angry ghosts. I better split. Report! Alive? How is that possible? Someone saw him talking to an old crone on Low Street. I confirmed it myself. I'm more concerned about the crone than Threepwood. Who is she? Just some old bag of bones. Don't worry about her. I took care of her. Excellent. She did have a key on her. A big, fancy gold one. Do you want it? No, no. We don't need the keys. We have a better way. Just put it where Threefoot won't get it. Like where? I don't care! Use your imagination! Yes, Captain. Now, I have another task for you. You'll need to pick up a few things from our ship on the way.
Are we lying in wait or just waiting? Closer than ever to finding the secret of Monkey Island. I'm not any closer to caring about it. <laughs> Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? One time. My ship was swallowed by a whale. You know, what your story needs, it's a part to set the stage, to let us know what's going on and who the people are. It should come at the beginning, like a, um... A beginning? Like a beginning, exactly. Like, I was on the deck of a burning Spanish galleon with horse face and itchy jaw. And then all of a sudden, and then you take it from there. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe, and then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Yeah, that's the way. Obviously, you're new at this, but don't worry. Other chums can show you more of the ropes. Okay. Welcome back. Hiya. Oh, are you in the chums? If I were, would I tell you? Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. Hmm. But then what? A key point of every fish story is a dramatic ending. Did you land the fish? Did it get away? Does someone get married or killed or both? People want to know how things turn out. Oh, that makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped, through the digestive system, ship and all. I think you've got a lock on it. Seems like you've got a few keys on your ring. Now talk to some other chums to round out the set. I'll do that. Hi. Hey, boy. Got a warning for you. A warning? You're in danger. A stocky little ghost lady found me out. She came here and roughed me up. Took away my golden key. Oh, no. Uh, any idea where she might have taken it? Don't know. Can't afford to care. I know when I'm beat. I'm giving up on the secret. You ought to get out, too. Thanks for the warning. Are you okay? Only my spirit is crushed. Rest of me will heal. I've got two golden keys. Good for you. But you be careful. Well, I'm sorry to hear about your key. I hope your luck is better. Remind me who took your key? Some stocky little ghost pirate lady. I didn't recognize her. See you around, Whitey. Most likely. Ha <laughs> ha
Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was up in a crow's nest with a demon lookout called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a whale. And then we escaped through the digestive system, ship and all. Listen, let me tell you something about anglers. By which you mean people who fish. Right. But if you are one, you'd say angler. I would? Every subculture has its own special language. Words with significance specific to that subculture. When you use them, you convey both meaning and membership. That sounds good. That's why authentic sounding fish stories always have plenty of angler lingo. For example, I wouldn't tell people a big fish broke my string. I'd say, I was jigging with a hard bait when a strike from a lunker snapped my leader. That's both highly specific and difficult to understand. Exactly the point. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Yeah, that's the way. You almost sound like a real angler. I have given you my best tip. See if you can get some other chums to do the same. I'll do that. Hi. Hi. Greetings, fellow chum. Guybrush, you've joined the chums. I'm glad. Maybe a new hobby will help you get your mind off the secret. Um, sure. Well, let's hear what you got. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum-chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. That's nice, Guybrush, but I think you've left out the most interesting part. What was it like inside the whale? What happened in there? People want to hear about the experience. That makes sense. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. Fortunately, the average salt can't tell the taste of mermaid from any grump you might find in your creel. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. I think you've got it! This could be a whole new path for you, Guybrush. 
You know who you should talk to? Apple Bob. You'll have to go back to LeChuck's ship, of course, but he's worth it. Thanks. I'll make this quick. I don't know when LeChuck's coming back. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. It was gross inside. Soft floors and yellow stuff all over the place. Fortunately, the average salt can't tell the taste of mermaid from any grump you might find in your creel. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. You know what? I think your story would really benefit from some colorful description. Like when I hook a fish. I don't just say I hooked a fish. I say there was a majestic fish, glistening like liquid silver, dashing through the waves, stretching my line out like the truth in a schoolboy's mouth. Oh, that does seem a little more gripping. Want to give it a try? Okay. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move and you'd be wearing Jonah's overcoat, a layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and reeled it in from the inside. Dazzling. You weave a story, like a wicker placemat with a mosaic of coffee stains. Is that good? Tightly woven and useful. The coffee stains give it character. You should tell a story at the Cod's Wallop. Hello. Greetings, fellow chum. Greetings, fellow chum. Have you a story to share? And don't be nervous thinking it's a test to see whether you've mastered the art. Even though that's just what it is. I was bait casting dead stick from a crow's nest with a Guggen called Flambe. And then, all of a sudden, my ship was swallowed by a huge lunker of a whale. A real chum chomping line breaker, if ever there was one. Inside, it was like walking on soft cheese with rivers of pea soup that stank like a landlubber's bait box. One false move, and you'd be wearing mm. Jonah's overcoat. A layer of greasy phlegm as thick as day-old pancake batter. Then we stuck an umbrella jig head in the beastie's mouth and mm. reeled it in from the inside. That was a whopper of a story. You've clearly learned all there is to learn. I hereby declare you to be a chum grand master. Congratulations. Wow, thank you. That's a great honor. 
And, uh, I know I said there wouldn't be no reward for success with the chums, but it's quite an achievement. So we'll be giving you this commemorative trophy. It says, prize chum. Aw, thanks guys. I'm touched. It says, prize chum. Has Iron Rose been back to the ship? She did come back for a bit, yeah. She was in a hurry, went below decks, then came right back up and left again. Very interesting. Hang in there, Bob. Hmm. Still not funny. come this far without being pecked to death by ghost chickens. Keep your expectations modest, I always say. I've come this far without being pecked to death by ghost chickens. This must be Whitey's stolen key. Suspiciously easy, but I'm good with that. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. So, the Swabi says, the map or the bucket? <laughs> there are so many other things I could be doing right now. Why is that spell taking so long? Relax. Lila knows what she's doing. My mother always used to say, good pizza takes time. Well, that's idiotic. Are you insulting me or me mama? Yes. Now this seems worthwhile. It's a very regal looking ice sculpture. The wind must have blown out the fire. It's amazing they stay lit in this weather. I can't reach that. Roll. 
roaring fire, melting ice, very hoogly. Welcome, loyal subject. It's slowly filling up with castle. This entire castle is made of ice. Thank goodness there's a fire, or it'd be freezing. Ah. At the end of the plank. My only copy. Please don't touch it. These matches are specially formulated for freezing temperatures. Disclaimer, will not light underwater. Hi. Grunt. I didn't quite catch that. Grunt. I see. Want to discuss Cartesian philosophy for a few hours? Grunt. Yeah, I feel you. Your Majesty? <laughs> no need to be so formal. This is Bermuda. Your guy brushed Threepwood, aren't you? I'm Odina the Ninth. I know your wife. Elaine? You sound uncertain. How many wives have you got? Just the one I'm aware of. The scurvy project seems to be coming along. Are you working on that as well? I helped a little, with a pamphlet. Even though they didn't use my sublimes idea. Ha! <laughs> Very nice. What brings you north of the 19th parallel, Guybrush? Your crown, as a matter of fact. Ha! <laughs> Get in line. Everybody wants the crown. Everybody? The crown of keys is a ceremonial artifact worn by the reigning queen of Bermuda. It was originally fashioned from the house keys of the citizens as a gesture of trust. And or submission? My predecessor as queen is the one who added the golden key. I think it gives a certain pizzazz. Perhaps I would be able to help safeguard that valuable item. I think it's perfectly safe with me. And with the armed guard standing at the foot of the stairs blocking your exit. You may touch the crown if and when you become queen, and not before. Become queen? Interesting. Hypothetically, how exactly would a person become queen of Bermuda? You have to earn it. Win it. Rest it from the iron grip of the previous queen. Most people can't manage that, of course. But by the traditions of Bermuda, all are welcome to try. To become queen, you must show your qualifications by defeating the current queen in three contests. The contests test your heartiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence. Three trials. It's just like becoming a pirate. It's nothing like becoming a pirate. Well, except for the three trials part. Contests. They're contests. Can you give me more details on the contests to become queen? The contest of heartiness is an eating contest. Raw fish. Call it sushi if it helps you sleep better. The contest of seriousness is one where you must keep a straight face. Whoever laughs first loses, which I never do. The contest of intelligence is an algebra test. 20 second time limit, best answer wins. And yes, I do always have the best answer. You sound like you're serious about this. Thank you for the audience. I'll take my leave. Very well. You may go.
I'm not... Hang in there, Bob. Hmm. Still not funny. This is a bunch of empty containers of preservatives and coloring agents. I wouldn't want to wake him up. Thank you. It looks like you tried to cook the book instead of the recipe. Oh well, I should be thankful I'm getting it back at all. Next time you can just put it in the bookshelf yourself. Can I borrow this book? Fine, fine. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Actually, let's be formal after all, shall we? Your Majesty. Yes. I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Come with me. We've got to go downtown. See that triangle? There are three of them here in the building. One for each contest. When you want to formally issue a challenge, you ring the triangle. Dios mío! Another challenge! Ladies and gentlemen, although your appetite for this nauseating affair never ceases to amaze me, it is my solemn duty to adjudicate this, the Contest of Heartiness! As you are all thoroughly aware, the objective is to successfully and permanently Consume more raw fish than your opponent. Today's challenge fish is bloater. <laughs> Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. It's the soon-to-be former queen. I 
can feel all the warmth escaping up the chimney. It's an empty bucket. I mean, I guess this is algebra? I actually have no idea. Ooh, a challenge! Welcome, Your Majesty and Mr. Threepwood, to the Contest of Intelligence. In front of each of you is an advanced algebra problem. You are to solve it as completely as you can and remember to show your work. No peeking, no copying, no swapping papers, and no cheating whatsoever. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. No copying. No funny business, Buster. I don't have the slightest idea how to solve an algebra problem. I have no idea what that says. Time's up. I'll take your papers. No surprises here. Queen Odina has delivered a clear and correct answer with a step-by-step -step proof. Mr. Threepwood appears to have copied parts of several unrelated equations from the blackboard. Queen Odina is the winner. Better luck next time. It's carved out of wood, but it's very lifelike. Ladies and gentlemen, for your viewing pleasure, we present, for only the 11th time this week, the Contest of Seriousness. On this side, the reigning queen, Odina the Ninth of Bermuda. And on this side, the challenger, Guybrush Threepwood, currently unemployed and of no fixed address. If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. Have you heard the one about the guy who put an ice cube on a scurvy dog? He said it was chilly. Is that the best you've got? Why can't the ocean take off its boots? Heard it. You might as well give up. I have heard every joke there is in this world. Contestants, the time limit has been reached. As neither of you has laughed, the contest is a draw. See ya! Are you finished with the joke book yet? Emotionally, yes. It's not that long and I've read it 16 times already. Can I have the joke book back? Then what am I supposed to read? You said you were finished. You've read it 16 times. It's boring reading it over and over, but it's better than nothing. Hang in there, Bob. Still not funny. Hey, Bob, would you like to read this book? It's about a voyage that never ends. Sounds interesting. And long. Here's your joke book back. It's Flambe's Underworld Joke Book. All jokes about demons and otherworldly stuff. Hello.
I'd like to trade my fish in for some bloaters. An underrated delicacy. I'll put it on your tab. Thanks. They're semi-bloated. Your Majesty. Yes. I challenge you to the contest of heartiness. Today's challenge fish is Bloater. <laughs> Wait a moment. The bucket of plenty contains no plenty. There are no fish here whatsoever. And the contest cannot be held without fish. Everyone go home. It's an empty bucket. Smells pretty fishy, though. Today's contest of hardiness will feature bloater. In the defender's chair, the cast iron stomach of Odina the Ninth, reigning Queen of Bermuda, and undisputed heartiness champion! And in the challenger's chair, all the way from the Southern Caribbean, still in possession of nearly all of his original teeth, the newcomer, Guybrush Threepwood. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. It's filled with bloaters. Oh, ew. And now... This looks like a good one, relatively speaking. <laughs> the scales are like fingernails. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner and still champion, Queen Odina. <laughs> This is Chef Putra's demon pepper, made from the hottest peppers you can get. Tasting it is not a good idea. That ought to give it some zip. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Mr. Three Blood, we are waiting for you to place your fish on. This may be a bit spicy. And now, let the eating commence. Well, it seems that both contestants are having some trouble. I declare this contest a draw. Contestants may now seek medical attention if they so desire.
That ought to give it some zip. If you would each now select your first fish and place it on the plate in front of you. Mr. Threepwood, we await your selection of fish. And now, let the eating commence! Two bites? That's more than she ate, right? I can stop now? Uh, yes, you can stop if you like. Ladies and gentlemen, your new champion of hardiness with two bites to the Queen's Wad is Mr. Threepwood! One contest down, two to go. You found it like this? It was over 200 years old. It's the only one on the island. An irreplaceable natural resource. What are we supposed to do with it now? Think, do things. How many people besides yourself even know the location of this tree? Not many at all. I did tell someone about it just recently, but... But what? Who was it? Well, odd coincidence. I'm sure there are plenty. I could do this professionally. I will return in 20 seconds to grade your papers. Your time starts now. Did you notice the excellent fire in the fireplace? Yeah, yeah. Time's up. I'll take your papers. I am most surprised by this, but the evidence is clear. Mr. Threepwood is the winner. But how is that possible? Clean living, regular exercise, and a brain like a mountain. Dense, motionless, and shaped by erosion. You can see the difficulty I'm having. I can. Better luck next time. Only one more contest to go. blown away. What am I going to do? I can't get Stan back here after that argument. <sighs> if only I'd made copies right away. What was I thinking? Now I'm right back where I started. Uh, excuse me. Are we interrupting? No. Sorry. What can I do for you gentlemen? We'd like to purchase some razor bombs. We're running low and we want to prevent hair loss and trim excess belly fat. You... Wait a minute. Where did you hear that name? We read a flyer. We heard supplies were limited. The flyer! That's my mock-up. My one-of-a-kind, impossible-to-replace, project-saving flyer. Do you have it? Please tell me you have it. Ah, sorry. It, uh, fell into the sea. Fell into? <laughs> like it wasn't your fault. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was yours. Wait, I know. You could ask the nice blonde pirate for a flyer. Blonde pirate? He's the one who gave it to us. Oh, he sails around in the weirdest looking little ship.
If you will all come to order, the contest will begin. The first contestant to laugh is the loser. What do you call a pirate with twelve swords? Whatever he wants you to. Is that the best you've got? Why do demons have horns on their heads? Because they're too uncomfortable under the arms. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is Guybrush Threepwood. Where did you get that book? I'm uh, confiscating this. Citizens of Bermuda, Mr. Guybrush Threepwood has somehow successfully bested our beloved Queen Odina at all three of our traditional challenges. We are gathered to complete an orderly and peaceful transfer of power. Should I sit on the throne or something? There are some customary vows. Vows? Nobody mentioned any vowing. Will you faithfully uphold the honor and dignity of Bermuda in your every thought and deed? Honor and dignity? The queenship is not an a la carte position. Okay, sure. And will you promise to enforce and obey the laws of Bermuda? Uh, how many of these vows are there? Not many. Fine, I'll do it. Do you swear to defend and protect the people of Bermuda, sacrificing your own life or limbs if necessary? This is starting to sound like a trap. It's just standard contractual language. Uh, when do we get to the part with the crown? Once you have completed your vows as queen and not before. Okay, I guess I'm in. And will you gracefully accept all challenges to your hardiness, your seriousness, and your intelligence? Is there a flex time option? I have other commitments. You may sleep between the hours of 11 and 4. Uh, how about if Odina stays queen and I just claim the crown? The crown is the property of the queen. Nice try. Oh, all right. Very well. Citizens of Bermuda, your new queen, Guybrush Threepwood. Congratulations. You want my advice. Give me the crown already. I hope you like spending all your time doing the three challenges. Because that's basically what your job is now. I have to write my memoirs. <laughs> Um, as your queen, I want to tell you that we're all queens in our own special way. That's why I've symbolically destroyed the crown. Why don't you all take a key? You get a key. And you get one. And you! Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got places to be. Did I ask you to give the prisoner a drink of water? No, Captain. You did not. I was acting on my own initiative. When I want initiative, I'll ask for it. Of course, sir. I need you to be a team player. And right now, the team is focused on one thing. The secret. Uh, yes, sir. What? What is it? Out with it! Well, it's just that some of the crew have been talking. Tell me already! The feeling is that the secret is not really a team. 
team goal. It's been suggested that you think that securing the secret will help you to win over Elaine Marley, which, well, frankly, sounds kind of deluded. It's not realistic, sir. You are not to mention Elaine in my presence, and do not presume to know what I am thinking. Sorry, Captain. This will be the last time I bring it up. Yes, it will be. Death waits for all who enter. I'd turn back if I were ye. That's encouraging. This place doesn't like visitors. Ah, Papa Pichu! That hurts! I hope they're not poisonous. Yeah, I'd better not get any closer. I might catch something. Or something might catch me. Did that just move? I thought I saw it move. I'm sure I'm a more skilled survivalist and have nothing to worry about. I'll just keep telling myself that. It's not one of the golden keys, but any key is a good key in my book. Uh, this place gives me that lonely feeling. I'd rather keep moving along. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. In all the worst places, it's like a slow, crashing wave of spores. For a dead tree, it's a little too lively. Just a dead end. Sounds a little creepy if you think about it too much. I'm not sure I want to know what happened here. I'll be fine as long as I don't lose my wits and keep my head. Ugh, looks like he had the wrong person watching his back. What really bothers me is, why do these pirates look familiar? Ugh, a creepy bug. Stay on that lump and don't bother me. Looks like another greedy pirate who met a sordid fate. Yeah, this place gives me the creeps. It's an old oil lamp with a little lamp fuel inside. There's no such thing as a man-eating mushroom, right? Whatever it is, I don't think it wants me around. It's locked. It's one of the most beautiful keys I've ever seen. It's not lit, but it does have some lamp oil in it. It's not a skeleton key, but I did find it stuck in a skeleton's chest. I think the lock must be under that sign. It says XYZZY. It's so old, it's about ready to fall off.
X, Y, Z, Z, Y. I'm not walking any farther. It's way too dark. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Wow, neat! It's magic! Okay, it's lit. It says, warning, you are about to enter a maze of twisty passages, mostly very similar. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. It says, warning, it's a long way. Oh. 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 Lucky thing you landed on my bed. Herman Toothrot? I think so. It's been a while. How have you been? Have you been in this cave very long? Well, not in geologic terms. As a percentage of the total number of years of existence of the cave itself, it would be a small number. On a human scale, however, yes! It all depends on your perspective. I'm looking for a golden key. Sounds like something I might have read in a book once. Are you a fictional character? Not that I'm aware of. Are you freaked out by all the weird screaming in the caves? Oh, that's me. Just a little light entertainment and well-being work. Primal screaming is very therapeutic. Uh, try it. Ah. Whew, you're right. Yeah, that feels good. How does a person get out of this place? Typically... You don't. Can I get you anything? Out would be nice. It's a golden key. No touching! 
that's a golden key. Maybe it's mine. You were hunting for the keys too. That's how you got stuck here. Is it? I suppose that would make sense. Let's make a deal for the key. I'm pretty sure I wanted it for a reason, but a decade or so in a dark cave can do funny things to your memory. So, get me out of here, and then I'll let you have the key. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? I don't know. How do I know I can trust you? If you let me have the key, then I'll get you out of the cave. That sounds good. As long as it's escape first, key afterward. It needs to be key first, then escape. It needs to be escape first, then key. Me having the key is for the greater good. For the greater good of you, certainly. Just give me the key already. Now! Give me the key! Now! I need it! Whoops! I'm eager to see how you're gonna get us out of here now. That's the last key. Voodoo Shop, here I come. I wish I could see it. X, Y, Z, Z, Y. Well, that wasn't so hard. What happened to Mr. Toothrot? When? Did you get him out of the cave? How'd you do it? That's not part of this story. Oh, okay. Wood has all the keys? That's right, Captain. Just recovered the last one. Prepare to set sail for Melee Island immediately. What about my spell? It's almost ready. I'm sure I'll find some use for it later. I'm afraid I can say the same for you, however. Aw, you're betraying me. I'm the one who does that. But I do respect talent in other people. The moment of truth is at hand. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. It's cheesier than I imagined, but still beautiful. Go! <laughs> oh. Okay. Hmm. I wasn't really thinking about the possibility of yet another lock. This seems like overkill. 
Well, uh, there's no serial number. Maybe I can break it open. This is not a problem. I just need heftier tools. Three points! Ah. LeChuck, my old nemesis. Here we are again. Looks like this story ends the way it was always destined to end. With just you, and me, and the secret. Not quite. I don't suppose it'll do me any good to point out that you're cheating again? I've underestimated your resourcefulness, Threepwood. But force always wins in the end. You should try it sometime. Good luck opening that. It's well made. I tried everything I could think of for a whole minute, and I didn't make a dent in it. Of course not. The secret can only be revealed in a ceremonial chamber located deep within the bowels of Monkey Island. That would have been nice to know ahead of time. It pleases me to have you live with the knowledge of how close you were to having this before I took it from you. So, I've decided not to kill you right this minute. Outside that door, the deal is off. Don't even think about following me, and count to a hundred before you leave the building. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred! Guybrush! Whitey Bones said she saw you come in. Are you all right? No. I mean, yes, I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? The truck has the secret, and he's headed for the bowels of Monkey Island. The caverns underneath the big monkey head? There's no time to lose. Let's talk on the way. That did seem like a better way to get here than making the potion. I'll definitely have to take notes next time. Yes, I just hope it turns out to be worth all the effort. What effort? That was easy. I'm not talking about the trip over. I mean all the work you've done leading up to it. Not to mention the trail of destruction you've left in your wake. Of course. I'm a pirate. It's part of the lifestyle. It can still be surprising when you encounter it in practice. Odina told me an exciting story about what happened on Bermuda. Apparently, you managed to destroy a priceless traditional artifact and the government of an entire island in five minutes flat. That's quite impressive. Even for you. Eh, the crown was flimsy. It just fell apart. Someone who was there described you as straining so hard she thought you might tear your own arm off. But maybe she was exaggerating. Odina also thinks you cheated on your algebra test and tried to poison her. It wasn't poison. It was just hot pepper. She was fine an hour later. I did have to convince her not to file suit. You owe me one. I appreciate that. Incidentally, I think you might also be royalty now, since you're married to me. I thought something felt different this morning. But I was talking about your freewheeling lifestyle. Did you know the Museum of Pirate Law has shut down? You don't say. Its prize exhibit went missing. Curiously, there was only one name in the guest book. I used a pseudonym. How did you know it was me? My T Pirate. It wasn't hard to figure out. Doesn't everyone use that one? Herman Toothrot is also a little upset with you. He says you took his key and left him in a dark cave. He was already in the dark cave when I found him. So, to be fair, no net impact overall. Except for the key. True, but he wasn't really using it. Well, 
You'll be happy to know he made it out. I rescued him myself. I am happy to know that. Thanks. Remind me why we're talking about all this? It's just, I'm worried that the secret can't possibly measure up to the effort and anticipation. What exactly are you expecting to find? Glory. I won't just be plain old Guybrush Threepwood Mighty Pirate anymore. No? I've always liked him. But now, I'll be Guybrush Threepwood Secret Finding Mighty Pirate, which is way better. Well, be careful what you wish for. Here we go. Just like old times. Are you ready for the caverns? I hate mazes. We all hate mazes. I love mazes. Well, well. You go on ahead, sweetie. I'll catch up. Elaine's buying me time by taking care of Flair. I should use it wisely. Hey, Wally. How's it hanging? Seriously, that's the joke you were going to use right now? Eh, I'm trying out some new material. Don't quit your day job. Wally, what happened? As if you don't know. How did you end up here? I saw your office had been ransacked. LeChuck came into the shop storming mad because he thought I gave him a mop map instead of a map to the secret. Yeah, real head scratcher how that happened. Thanks for the C-map. That was really great and I owe you for all the work you did for free. Glad you liked it. That mop map you made for me was a winner. Oh yeah, that's right. I did make you a mop map. Wait, it's all starting to make sense now. Why is it that every time our paths cross, good old Wally is kidnapped or tormented or worse? The mysteries of how the universe works may never be known. I wish I could get you out of those shackles. You and me both. Yeah, I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got to get the secret before LeChuck does. Sure, run off. Wally will be fine. Bay, you're awake. Not for long. I'm just here to tell you that you are making a mistake. The Chuck's obsession consumes him like a frog swallowing a tarantula. You don't want to be there when he opens that chest. Correct. I want to be there before he opens it. Ugh, you two deserve each other. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Run! I can't really see down there too well. There's a lot of lava. I can't really see down there too well. There. Okay. Here goes. LaChuck, I'm coming for you. Damn you, Threepwood! I should have gotten rid of you the first 58 times I had the chance. You will never make it down here alive. Just once, I want this to be easy. Only the organized pirate will pass. I used to have a letter opener like this. Hmm. 
only the organized pirate will pass. I'm naming it Captain Squint. It looks like a piece of eight, but made of stone. I can relate. It's holding a knife. You could tile a bathroom if you had enough of these. It's holding a mug. It's holding some crackers. Not usable as an actual spyglass, due to its being a solid chunk of stone. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Chuck, the secret will never be yours. I hate solving puzzles more than I hate Streepwood. The secret will never be yours. Huh? Threepwood, won't you ever give up and just go home? Once is a coincidence, twice is suspicious. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Only the unfair pirate will pass. Those epaulets deserve a room of their own. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. Yep, it's made of stone. Yep, it's made of stone. The clever eyes put this one above the rank and file. That's why I assume first swab. Cheer up, little guy. You'll go far. It's one of those stone pieces of eight. LeChuck, the secret is mine! You really do suck at puzzles, don't you? How are you still alive? You will never have the secret. I will soon have my revenge. Then you will forever be cursed. And you will never escape. You will vanish with no tails. No, I will return. The secret is mine. Third time be a charm, three weed. Grrr. 
next time, I keep my voice down. Only the bloodthirsty pirate will pass. There's no way I'm getting through there. It looks like its arm is hurt. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. It looks like its leg is hurt. It's leaking some kind of oil all over the floor now. This is going to be a problem. That didn't seem to do anything. There's no way I'm getting through there. stories where the person has so many enemies the detectives don't know where to start. One of the stone slabs from the altar seems to have fallen off during the rumble. I don't want to close any more possible escape routes. any more possible escape routes. who sailed from Havana, kept a pencil inside his bandana. Indiscretions of youth had cost him a tooth, which he detailed in long memoranda. From the complete book of pirate limericks, published in 1550. After all I've been through, finding some limericks on a piece of stone sinking into the lava isn't all that strange. any more possible escape routes. Huh? What? I 
was just deep in the mushroom and lava-ridden caves under Monkey Island, and now I'm... Oh no. Not yet. Score! Free popcorn! Score! Free popcorn! Glad you finally made it, kid. What, Stan? It's closing time and everyone wants to go home. Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. What do you mean it's closing time? I just got here. No, oh, I don't have time for this. I'm late for an important meeting. Take my keys and shut off all the lights before you leave. I'm not liable for anything that happens after closing time. Guybrush, are you ready to go? Last chance to hand over the key, locksmith. Why, that was an absolute ripper! I hereby declare you the winner! Elaine, thank goodness you're here. Of course. Where else would I be? I'm not sure where I am all of a sudden. You're right here with me. But we shouldn't stick around too long. I was just underground on Monkey Island, and now we're on Melee? Things just go by in a blur sometimes when you're having fun, don't they? How'd it go with Flair? Let's just say I made my point. How did you get here before me? You know I always try to stay a step ahead. Have you done something new with your hair? Got ruffled in the fight. I like it. I'm gonna look around some more. Bite your tongue. That's property of the chums. The switch is locked. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Dang. Stan makes LeChuck better every time. The secret is mine. Each time I come here, Stan really ups the challenge. But it's still LeChuck 0, Guybrush Threepwood 6. The secret is mine! Nice twist adding in Madison, Trent, and Lila. The team up had me fooled for a while. The secret is mine! Well, back to my boring flooring inspector job. Until next time. That was disappointingly easy. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I should have suspected Stan's involvement the minute I saw how cheap and gaudy this is. Tech nabbit, it's locked. If only there was a key. Interesting. I found the secret of Monkey Island and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid t-shirt. The switch is locked. The switch is locked. It's empty. The switch is locked. I got the secret! You finally did it! I hope it was worth it. I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm ready to go. Don't forget to shut off all the lights. And the switch is locked. The switch is locked. The switch is locked. The switch is locked.
I found the secret of Monkey Island, and all it was was this stupid T-shirt. Historic Landmark, the original secret, a pirate adventure park. Established 1989 by R. Gilbert. I'm ready to go. Don't forget to shut off all the lights. Which is locked. Ready to go. Good. Me too. Dad, that was a silly ending, and it didn't even make any sense. You're terrible at endings. I thought you liked silly endings. You and Chucky play the ending of Monkey Island 2 really silly. That's different! We're kids, and we're just goofing around. You're the one who said you can't just change things. You said that's not how storytelling works. I did? I want to know the secret! You have to tell me what you really found in the chest. Your mom was right. It's better not to know. Once you have an answer to a question like that, you lose the most important part of it. Imagining the possibilities and talking about them with other people is way better. Mom! Dad won't tell me what the secret is! Are you filling our son's head with your outlandish stories again? I was telling him the one about how we found the secret of Monkey Island. <laughs> oh, that one! <laughs> Every time you tell that story, the ending gets stranger and stranger. Let's go down to the docks and watch the galleon head out. Yay! I found the lost map to the treasure of Maya Island. It's going to be a fun adventure. I'll meet you down there. Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a Mighty Pirate. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, the Chuck was behind it, of course. 
That guy never gives up. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Oh, man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. These are from the time I found the secret of Monkey Island. I started my voyage at the scum bar, but right away I could tell it wasn't going to be like old times. The new pirate leaders were focused on sacking and pillaging, but plunder stats aren't everything. I learned more than I ever wanted to know about mops. I made the unusual decision to join LeChuck's crew as a way to get to Monkey Island. Serving on LeChuck's ship was an interesting experience. I grew to like the crew. I forgot all about looking like a zombie and starting a mutiny and seizing the ship. My disguise held up great, right up until we were nearing Monkey Island, when it, um, well, there was a failure. Gullet was my supervisor. Not a very pleasant guy. I got thrown off the ship, but that was okay. I'd gotten as far as I needed to. The actual return to Monkey Island was not what I expected. We all thought the secret would be on the island somewhere. Everybody had a map some more useful than others. Elaine and I rebuilt my old ship, the Sea Monkey, so we could sail back to Melee. The temporary pact I made with my enemies turned out to be about five minutes more temporary than I had hoped. I learned some deeply personal things about my nemesis, LeChuck. It was a race to get to the secret first. I hunted down all five golden keys. I wonder if I was supposed to keep these. LeChuck teamed up with Madison but that was never going to last. Madison was scheming to betray LeChuck. Lila was scheming to betray Madison and LeChuck. I'm not sure Trent ever thought very far ahead. Whitey Bones told me all about the Golden Keys. Elaine had a lot on her plate, but she was with me in the end. Carla handled earthquake relief as best she could under the circumstances. I broke Stan out of prison. Wally was kidnapped. The voodoo lady disappeared. I unseated the reigning queen to become the last queen of Bermuda. I visited Herman Toothrot in his cozy hermit cave. We chased LeChuck back to Monkey Island again, and I tracked him down. Elaine held off Flare Gory while I went into the monkey. I made this mock-up of the final puzzle. I think it's pretty neat. I found Wally! Someone had devised a series of themed pirate monkey puzzles to keep out the unworthy. Oh, shoot. I wonder when this fell out. Wait, what's this? <laughs>